Hello, everyone. I am Gandare of the Gaming Clan, Vato Clan, and welcome to the Dominion Breakdown number seven, where me and a whole lot of other people are going to talk about, uh, we're, we're going to hype up the Day of Dominion. It's coming up, the 24-hour live stream is going to be on September 26th. We're going to talk about that, and we're also going to talk about the 3.11 patch notes, uh, the patch that's going to be hitting very, very recently here. I have a whole lot of people hanging out today for this episode. Uh, it looks like we have 12 people hanging out. Uh, I decided uh, a little bit of a different format. Instead of getting everybody together, getting a select few people in Skype, I just said, hey, everybody show up, bring your friends, let's all talk about patch notes, and um, let's go ahead and start doing introductions because we have a lot of them uh, here. Half Hard, who are you? What do we know you from? I am Half Hearted. I am a player for Team Lewis, and I play Dominion. Yay! What is this a mic, and how does it work? TL the enthusiasm. Um, I'm a support player for Clueless. Excellent. What does a Malakoko do? Uh, I'm a guy who posts a lot of things in chat and uses the word hype far more than I should. Alright, what's a generic, and what do we do with it? Um, generic was Safonda Cox for a bit, and then he was a Bear Tivers, but now it's Safonda's Bear Tivers. You guys I guys changed I it. Oh god. I told him not to. Didn't listen. Hey, I conservative Christians on my team who are very upset with Safonda Cox. I had to change it. Yo, as the manager, uh -huh. screw it. It was a cool name. All right, we got a couple more people. Do Safonda Bear Tivers? Safonda's Bear Tivers. Yes, on to oh. Aaliyah. All right. Well, um, I'm I'm going down the list on my screen. We missed. There's a guy in the chat. Uh, what kind of guy are you? That's people's. I know. I was trying to make a joke here, and he's just not giving it to me at all. I think he's. A, I, he commands guys. May or may not be and here. Peoples. It's AFK peoples. Oh, no, okay. people's my little... Of the AFK oh, people. There you go. Okay. I handle everything from the background. I call Afro Moo whenever I want. I have the power of a pro. Get on my level. Get on. <laughs> I don't have a fireman's so ladder. Cool. I cannot get on your level because I don't have a ladder high enough. I'm sorry. I will charter a helicopter. Uh, Stormfallen, uh, what have you been up to? Uh, I played Dominion, and that's about it. Dude, where have you been in competition, man? I feel like I don't see as much as I used to. Uh, just got back to school, so taking a break for a while. Awesome. Well, hey, good to have you on the show. Uh, we also have Kles. Kles, I think you run a team, right? Oh, yes. I'm the captain of Beware Tall Grass, although we haven't played competitively in a long time because of the change to Mobile Fire and real-life issues coming up. I mean, I can't fit my 18-people uh, legion of subs into... Uh, into... Only 18? Oh, yeah, I know. It keeps getting added, but yeah. Um... Well, yes, you can. Before you ask, my name is from Tales of Fantasia. Yeah, Kles's team is literally... Kles was like, hey, how am I going to win at Dominion? I know, I'm going to get a specialist for every single champ there is, and I'm just going to make a team of that. And, well, the roster doesn't fit on any websites. Um, we also have the squirrel in here as well, it looks like. I think squirrel's I'm AFK. Yeah, that or doesn't have a mic. It's possible. Well, that's why I have the chat yeah, being captured as well. So, we might have another... Poor Ray Ray. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they have to behave in chat. Yeah, because, I mean, there's going to be a lot of, like, conversation, you know, going on, like, on the mics. So, I want to be able to yeah, have the, the chat captured. So, if you're going to type in the raid call, by the way, make sure to set your chat size, your, your text size to medium, please. So, it gets picked up by XSplit. That would require me to know how to do that. There's a button above the AA. Um, Aaliyah was telling me how to do it earlier. Ew. And you click a little drop-down box, and whoa. Got it, Chief. Oh, look, he just walked in. I, this, people's oh the best thing to happen to this entire show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Aaliyah, uh, thanks for being on the show. Uh, who are you and what do you do? Um, I'm a solo queue player. I mainly play supports in Dominion. All and right. I hang out in the Dominion chat. We have Captain Let's Jack. 
Captain Jack H confirmed no mic, but he's in the uh, the text version of the chat. Hey, what's up, dude? There we go. Uh, he played for a double GP5, sub for Awesome Explosion, plus Lolly, and he likes to feed in bot lane. I just read that out loud for the sake of anyone who happens to be alt-tabbed and only listening to the audio, because I know some people do that. <laughs> Peoples, please. This whole chat. Okay, anyone who's going to watch this VOD, just keep watching Peoples' name throughout. It's going to be hilarious. And uh, last week we have Chaosis, or Chaos OS. Yeah, uh, I've played for half a dozen different teams. Uh, I think the most recent one I played on was Tripower, uh, and I play Karma, Aatrox, and Quinn. Oh dear. Wait. Oh, <laughs> I can't handle these names. Okay. Um, Alright, going on to the next segment, uh, the first segment, anyway. Uh, guys, uh, Day of Dominion, I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard me talk about that or try to wrangle you into doing it already. If you haven't, I'm going to go ahead and link the thing in the raid call for you uh, right now. I requested the day off already. On the screen, and I'm good. I'm probably going to get it. Because we need you for, well, you're the best chat mod. And I request, this is slightly true, they're still great to sign me because he bans dongers. Dongers, fun will be allowed in that chat. Okay, I'm just, I'm just oh, saying. Oh, this. Wild Pilar is appears. Is this actual Pilar? This is no. Pylon. No, it's Popples. That's what I thought. Popples no. Pylon. It's 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 Popples. I was not paying attention. Artosis Pylon. This is one of it. Wait, wait, is that a, a wait? Is the A Trox Pylon? No, it's High no, People changing his name. Pylon. Can we just a, have a, High Peoples? Can we just have Peoples be the only one changing their name for consistency's sake, please? The viewers That's will. So uh, much. Okay. Half's brain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Day of you Dominion. You stole it for ramen noodles. All right. Let me let me get this this topic out here. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know already, September twenty sixth is gonna be Dominion's second birthday. It's gonna be two years old. This game mode uh, released in twenty eleven. And we didn't really do anything last year for it. I mean, Feedski streamed a little bit for that day. Me and him wanted to like throw a whole thing, but we just. It was too short notice, and uh, I took like a month in advance to start planning this out. It's going to be streamed on Dominate Gaming's uh, Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash dominategamingtv. And we're going to play like a whole bunch of games on there. We need people for it. I'll have the thread linked in the description of this video. If you want to check it out yourself, we need people that can play, stream, cast, whatever. I have a rough draft of the schedule up right now. Um, uh, if you guys want to uh, give that a look through. Um, each block is going to be two-hour segment. Uh, it's going to be 24 hours. It's going to be midnight to midnight riot time, uh, which is uh, Pacific or PDT. It goes by a number of different things. Um, we're going to do community in houses, we're going to have some no revive gameplay, upper map, bot lane, um, Dominion with just the free champs. Uh, we're going to have fun stuff like in houses with everybody in raid call, uh, reverse build and build challenge games, uh, a section, a, a block where you lose windmill intentionally so that we can, you know, show, hey, you know, losing the windmill, uh, yeah, it's bad, but here's how you respond to that in game. And I'm, I'm really excited for that block. And then we're going to close it out with some uh, some really crazy stuff like uh, Caster's Choice, where I'm going to make Dynov actually play Vigor if I can get that guy on the show. Uh, Chaos, which is where the Twitch chat is going to pilot the games, and it's either going to be really good or absolutely awful. I'm not sure which, because I'm going to have people just shout out like champs and stuff in the chat, and items and other things, and it'll be great or awful. And then the last section is going to be like some really special games like Reverse Draft, Ban All the Champs Until There's Only Ten Left, play a game with, like, skill restrictions or something, potentially. I'm still on the fence about that idea, because it's kind of difficult to fight that uh, level up your ult impulse, you know, so. But there's going to be a lot of cool stuff going on, uh, and I want to know what you guys think about this, because I haven't really talked to a lot of people directly about it. Uh, I've spoken to Feedski, Gormern, uh, Maloko, I've talked to uh, some of the HDR guys, like Half Hards and Mike, other people like that. But um, I've got a whole bunch of you here, and I want to know what you think about the, the blocks, the schedule, just this whole idea in general. Uh, put up. Oh, by the way, um, Vesh, this is as of last night, right? Vesh is going to try to get into some playing without sharing it. Wow, that'd be oh, nice. really cool. Yeah, like he was playing for a couple hours of feed skis. Uh, I got to double check and get more on him, but I think he'll probably get like Xbox and a few others. Awesome. So, I don't know when that'll be, but 
probably like mid afternoon. I think he said. Captain Planet is a maybe. Um, that's a difficult game to set up, but I will I will try to get that in because I know we were. We tried that once and it didn't work out so well. Well, see, I had to leave all of a sudden, like right on the spot, then to like uh, give a friend a ride home from somewhere because I was playing DD, or well, I was not like I was playing designated this was driver. Hour stuff. So I was like, well, hey, I'm gonna go drive my friend home because that's cool, and then I like Oni Snake couldn't find people to fill it out, so. And no karma, Udir, stuff like that. Yeah, if we did a game with no ults, like those ones would kind of be out because that doesn't make sense. So, does anyone have any suggestions, like any thoughts, feedback on like what the hell I'm doing? Have you, who who all here is playing it? Let's start with that. Um, I'll try to get like if needed for some of the later games, like when it's just downtime and it's like. Okay, it's like 2 a.m. Nobody's on except a few like EUs. I'll probably slip into a game. Yeah, for but Dave to I'll probably just be chilling in chat where you're gonna keep me. Yeah, for Day of Dominion, I'll probably be able to do blocks 9 through 12.
Hello, everyone. I'm Gandair, and my computer uh owed and maybe peed the floor. So now I've changed computers, and I'm going to have to append these into one file later on. But uh, we're picking right back up where we left off. We were talking about Day of Dominion 24 hour live stream, September 26th. I need people to plan it, cast it, whatever. And we were talking about the different things that I had on the schedule for the for the stream. Um, I think the question that I pitched first was, what do you think of the types of games that I currently have on the schedule? Um, more in particular, the, uh, the, the Lose Windmill and the No Revive, I think, are the two that I like the most, I think might actually contribute the most to, like, analytical and gameplay and stuff. And then... For the entertainment things, like what do you think about some of that, that other stuff, like the the build challenge, reverse build stuff, and chaos is chaos. Yeah, that. Do you think? Let, let's start with that specifically, then, guys. How screwed do you think chaos is going to put us with this whole? Scary. No revive will be fine. It'll be just like ping on my smurf. No revive will be. Well, it'll probably be like it's if we're just suddenly back in low elo again <laughs> when we first started. Okay, so no revive, good. What about the throw windmill? Uh. Can we just fight over four points. Four bot, go. Everyone gang bot all in. All day flow chat. We're explain. We're explaining the rules in chat, so to not interrupt the cast. Oh, they're um, they're actually in the thread, or at least an outline of them is in the thread. Yeah, also, we're we talking about our thoughts on the matter. Yeah, I just need to know what you guys think of the different things that I have, because um, I, I like I worry about the games not being like interesting, and I want to I want to put things on the on the stream that are going to be like that could contribute some sort of like analytical strategic value, you know, like hey, what happens if you're in a situation where this occurs? You know, how do you play a game under this restriction because it makes you think about things differently and maybe you find stuff you wouldn't find otherwise. Uh, the other thing I worry about is with stuff like, um, you know, chaos and other things like that. Uh, do you think that the build challenges are going to, like, do you think we can learn a lot from those, or do you think it's just going to be sort of annoying to kind of set those up? I think, I think it's. I think build challenges are going to be more of just testing people's ability to adapt their builds, like how well they know yeah. how to build. But like some people, not like some people ridiculous. only know how to like cookie cutter. Like they, are like I build this, this, and this, and if I can't build these, oh shit, I don't know how to do. Whereas other people, like pretty much most, uh, most like the high level players know how to bury their builds. And we're like, well, if I can't build this, I'll build this instead. You know? Do you think it would be possible to run a a segment where a list of items was compiled and we banned those? Maybe possible. What would we take out if something like that happened? I don't know. Just just take every item in the game, put them into a randomizer, and we get stuff out. There's the ultimate bravery randomizer. It's oh yeah, ultimate I know. I wanted to do an ultimate bravery block, but we just don't have enough. Like I could easily make this a two day event, maybe more, with a lot of these stuff that I have going on. It's just finding a reason to run it for that long, for one, and two, it's just, it gets to be more administratively difficult. Uh, you'll see some of that as after the event is over, because I've been, like, turning on the camera and, like, recording me doing different sections of it, so you can kind of see the back-end evolution of how it's put together, but I want to do more, but I can't really fit everything do you think the things that are on the schedule right now are worth being on the schedule? Is there anything that you're looking at right now that is like, hey, I don't want to watch this, I don't care? Do you like the schedule? Yeah, just the like the oh. items on it, at least on the proposed schedule anyway, because this I draft need, is going to change. Uh, Did you lose the link? I need to go find, yeah, I need to find the schedule again. Let me drop it in the, uh, the Day of Dominion. Correct. Who do you have on block four for the bottom laner? Um, I haven't confirmed that yet, uh, so like I don't want to. You broke up there for a second. Who broke up? Half. Yeah. Me. 
I think it was half that did. I was tabbed, so yeah. I didn't see it. Like, the case is... I feel like bottom laner, it's gotta be someone really noticeable. Because everyone knows how to play. Like, top lane, you can bullshit if you know a champion. But bottom, the common mistake, like... Because we all know I'm still low elo trash. Let's be real. Um, a huge issue I notice is people don't know how to punish bottoms. Okay, their bottom is missing. Go get them. Um, I have... On the list of people that I can get for that day, in that particular section of time slot, uh, I have access to a couple people. Uh, I have access to Corval and Wolferer. And I think uh... they're both... Pretty competent. They're both good. Yeah. Corvals, you're mostly APs in like general, like whereas Wolfer has his unusual shit, like his nocturnes, and um, he's been playing a lot of Shen. Yeah, the nocturne thing was actually really surprising to see that uh, during the curse like, turn. I figure with Hydra, I'm just surprised the matchup worked so well. Yeah, I'm either gonna have uh, one of those two doing it. Probably, I haven't confirmed it yet. There's also a weird dead hour that I need to fill because Corval has to leave What's for time frame. Uh, it's 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. It's a it's Sakurai Ono. See, that's that's exactly who I'm looking for. I need to find him and see if he can do it because he's uh, on the he I posted. Get a hold of him. Yeah, he posted that's in his availability to be able to do. So I want to get him he on was for on that. Fancies earlier. I think I've got him added. Yeah, but I mean, if he can't do it. To hunt him down. Yeah, the only reason I went to him is because he has more experience, like, on stream and camera than Wolfer does, but by the info that they posted in the thread. So if Sakurai can't do it, it'll go to Wolfer, and then if not, I'm gonna picnic a little bit and try to figure out what to do. Because, uh, Corval has yeah. class, and Dual Power has a school-related thing also. Wait, so, which, which time is this? Uh, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. PST. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gone. Says also Zemike. Guys, your names, everyone's Zemike. It's gonna drive me insane. Yeah, fucking... I changed my back. Chaos. Can I mod edit the name? Hold on. Hold that. Yeah. Hold Easy. that. You're clicking, uh, there should be an edit option. Ha 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 Oh my god. There we go. Done. Your name is changed. This is my new favorite power. That's how I'm gonna troll like people the, now. The issue I have is you have to move to another channel to actually move someone to a specific channel. No, that's it's not. It's like you can't just move someone. Well, it's annoying because like you have to leave your channel to go to another channel to move someone. Yeah, but there's not join leave messages. To specific. All right. Um. Let's see. So other like things. During the curse tournament, I had to keep moving generic back in. Like they keep pausing the game and kept having to have me move them back in. All right. Um, other things in regards to Day of Dominion. Uh, I asked this, and I think this is this got caught in the uh, everything crashing. Uh, wh who are you? How do you guys is playing? I know Half Hearted's in. Uh, Ali, I think I saw you post as well. Anyone else? Yeah, I'm in. I'm done for playing this sometime. It's just my, yeah, I'll play. Okay. Like I'm based on the dead periods. Yeah, it's like I can play, I just don't know exactly when. It's a little bit in the future, I'll let you know when I can, though. Yeah, I definitely cannot play on the first uh, half of the blocks, so... Definitely not blocks one, two... Okay, um, seven, yeah. at least. Uh, generic, when you know your, um, your availability a little bit better, throw a post in there, and Chaosis, if you could do that too. I really need, I'm really trying to keep the thread, like, yes, active, yes. because that's... Uh, the thread's gonna actually matter, I guess. The more visibility it has, the better. I don't know how much traffic Riot's Dominion Forum gets, but, I mean, it's pretty much the only source Not of traffic we have for right actually, now. No. It's been increasing lately. Like, significantly. I'm seeing all the new names. And that's yeah. another thing. I really want everyone to stop being dicks to the new people. Uh, okay, I'm yeah. guilty of it for the alternative game modes, but that's slightly different. The people that are playing like Teemo yeah, football and stuff uh, need to I go. I was talking about it with Nam Kim and a few others, and a lot of people are starting to be dicks to new people. We need to. Like, it's, it's not even. I try not recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. We need to get some like. We need to get like some friendship is madness up in here and start being nice to everybody because that's what's going to keep people. Come on, yeah. Be nice. I hate all of you. Damn it, generic. 
How did you know I, that uh, being that's hated was one of the night. things I'm into? That's not fair. I feel that's like I have to prove now. Night. Oh, percent shots fired. Yeah, I also think that the um that like the little inside like jokes and things I do a little bit of work for us because every once in a while on the Twitch chat I see someone asking like why is it percent sign and stuff like Actually, that. Actually, they asked me that. Like the only actual main question they asked during the curse tournament was so teach us some stuff like what like some like I don't know half a few of them like two days before I asked and I'm, they're like so percent sign hype and I'm like oh, oh, oh. good times good times yeah like, I that's think the that's only thing good. they actually asked me like some of the slang and then like near the end of day two you saw that right? again they're like all of them were like percent like hype shots fired hashtag blat 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 we didn't even get one good blat 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 that tournament which may be sad especially with how Dude. much Jace Kha'Zix there was yeah but we're actually, I'm actually going to do a Dominion breakdown about uh, the Curse tournament at some point once all the VODs are up I'm in the process of uploading those now I'm uploading them like a series at a time because they're taking longer to tag and title than normal I'm being really really thorough about it apparently Curse is uploaded on their end but I haven't. I need to get yeah, the links they have uploaded it but a lot of the quality was either ridiculously subpar or you know how you're um, you got the intro and then like, it cut out because you had to redo it I don't know which part you're referring to. Runner-up match. Oh. Game two, I think it was. I yeah. don't know. Every, when I previewed the stuff on my computer, it looked fine. But what I did no, was... because a couple of the footage was on literal no sound. Oh, that. Oh, well, I mean, we can't do anything yeah. about that. I, I kept that in on purpose because that's just sort of gives uh, that live event feel. I could have cut that whole thing out, but, I mean, I wanted it to feel authentic. And there's some people like me out there that like the technical difficulty things. Um, if I was in charge of that VOD, the first thing I would have put is an overlay up at the front that says, hey, um, you know, technical issues, skip to this time unless you want to see them. I would put that like in an overlay in front of the video. But they wanted the semifinals, constellation finals. Yeah. So I anything that's with those videos is not on me. That's all on Curse. I only just started uploading mine. They're not visible yet because I'm going to wait for them to all process to be monetized first so I can like launch them all at the same time and actually get whatever ad revenue I get off of them. But that's a, that's a topic for a different day. Um, I had a question specifically about one of the games. Uh, I wanted to get some predictions from all, all of you guys. There is a, a game that I'm going to play that's going to be called Ban Them All, and I've got the logistics and everything worked out for what I'm going to do it. I'm basically going to create an image that has all the champions' faces on it. I'm going to put it on the stream and have the people that are in the game, you know, lobby, just, like, turn on the stream and, like, look at it so they can see it as it happens. We're going to ban all of the champs until there's only ten left. What do you guys think are going to be the ten bottom champs? I have not the slightest clue. That is the best it, random threat is going to be. No, 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 no. Those are going to get banned out. No, I almost I guarantee it. The rest is going to get banned out. Yeah, I think like, the bad champs are going to get banned out both good ones. Shit. It, it's more of a clever chess game. It's like, okay, who's on the other team and actually plays what? Because you, depending upon who you are, you can get away with it. Like, it'll work out really well. Except I think it's you purely should, based you're on everything but ten champions. Most ten champs are going to pick yeah. it, it, well, it, draft like those champs. Wait, I right, missed that. Have we figured out who the captains are going to be? I, I'm, I'm yeah, working on that. Like, who, whoever has Pyler on their team wins. Yeah, that, that was my first thought because I'm like, well, if Atrox gets through, I'm like, I'm I'm gonna be like determined to get Pylar no, into this. No, because if if Pylar's in the game, Atrox is not getting through. Neither is Thrush. Yeah, or yeah. like he plays the bad out. champs. So I mean, I know Sauron also plays like Trindamir and some other like oddball champs that he's put a bunch of work into. Yeah, but you can bullshit through with some of those champs. Like honestly, I think we get Trin a worse strap than he deserves because he can shit on some lanes bottom. It's Unlikely as it is that he'll get those matchups, but it's like it's unlikely as you win a game as LeBlanc good matchups, but yeah, finding the people for this, uh, like you were asking, is um, I don't know who's gonna be playing in it yet. Uh, I'm gonna be working that out. Uh, I've figured out the format for I'm gonna do it. Uh, I just need to get the players all to confirm. Uh, that's gonna be the first thing that we do in that time slot is gonna be the ban every champ. So it's gonna be like hard scheduled in 
on that particular time, and I'm going to see what I can get for it. Uh, like, the obvious picks, you know, up front are, like, Pilar, Sauron, Confi. I don't know if I can get Confi to play or not, though. Wait, uh, a question. What, what are we doing about, um, about, ch- about people who don't own all the champs? Yeah, we gotta Since guarantee from the start track. you own them all. Well, Chaosis, I'm we glad you guarantee. asked that question, because if you look at the thread, under playing, one of the requirements is how many champs you own. So I can get yeah. ten people that have all the champs. And actually, on my all thing, it's not confirmed because I'm missing Lucian, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people well, are going to be missing not him. Not going to get through. Are you kidding? Yeah. Well, who, you know what? Yeah. Who who's going to get through easy. though? Who actually gets through? We don't actually know. It's like, yeah, really? Do not know. You guys are killing me here. Um, Just give me one guess, because I want to reference back to this after the no, thing's over. Because the I, moment I, I, I give you a say, guess, uh, someone's going to say Sion, target ban. But the problem is... Play the meta half, there, there's pick there's someone to get people. them banned. Kha'Zix. Deal. I think he'll get through. I actually do think he'll get through. Maloko, who do you... Uh, we are, Kha'Zix already got picked, pick someone else. M- Maloko and I write are busy in a. I'm gonna fight. One. One sec. Gotta kill the sauce. Oh my gosh, you guys. Alia. Don't fail us, Makolo. <laughs> Alia, who do you think's getting through? Um. I'd say probably Mundo, but Ooh. I don't know now. You're not even worth my ultimate. Mundo? Someone would let Mundo through when he is a super powerful AP he, Razor? He can get through. Like, that's the thing, a lot of things you gotta th- figure about. I think there's a good, like, 30 shot. that can get through. There's a good 30 champions that can get through, probably. Uh, Stormfallen... And the thing is... Alright, I'm not finding I can actually speak now if you want. I'll get to you in a second. Stormfallen, who do you think? Give me a guess. If you're at your keys, anyway. Um, I have cool. no idea. That's not how this works. You pick a champ, dude! That's all you gotta do! Uh, pick someone who I think's getting through. Um. Oh. Olaf. Olaf. All right. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I forgot who I was gonna say. Good job, Kles. Who do you think will make it? Hmm. Well, well, let's see. I was thinking Zerath, but he's actually decent with his uh, percent poke. Not percent talk is um, armor pen, free armor pen, and his long range, but he has to stay rooted. I think you will get through. Ye? Yeah. Uh, Poppy. Poppy's going to get Ooh. through. There's no doubt my mind. The thing is, I think it's going to be what's going to mostly get through are the season 2 tiers that a lot of us have mostly forgotten about, and weird shit that the majority of us are like, okay, this is Hormone Dominion. But to the low, I think low elo tiers have probably statistically highest amount of going through. I doubt with 100% certainty that I'd be willing to bet 15 bucks on it that Shaco wouldn't get through. Getting Shaco get banned is because of his annoyance factor. Yeah, because even with sweeper and stuff, we do have a decent amount of Shaco players that are like, hey, I'm gonna AD and duel you. Like, mid-game, sell your AP shake, go AD. A generic, who's Garner. your pick? Garner? I'm, I'm just throwing out random names. That's tough. I've the, oh, man. Uh, Galio? Hmm. Galio just That's got a good one. No, uh, what it was is, um, I believe, like, 10, no, 20 seconds, 15, then 10 for ultimate lower CD. So, like, you'll actually get more than four a game. Yeah. Whoa. Like, it's actually pretty good now. And his mana cost yeah. is actually at a flat 100 for all three levels instead of 100, 150, then 200. Alright, who hasn't picked yet? Squirrel? Squirrel and Captain Jack, I think, are the only two that I haven't picked yet. Uh, 
Yeah, no. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, and plus, is, is, isn't he no Mike? Oh, um, <laughs> I, I'm just thinking BB Pop. Uh, BB Pop, we're doing a, we're talking about Day of Dominion, and we're gonna go over the patch notes. You're welcome to hang out and be part of that if you want. We're just wrapping up. Really new Mike, where? Yeah, we're where talking about the. Talk uh, We're finishing talking about a little bit of Day Dominion stuff, and then we're going to get into patch notes in a minute or so here. Uh, Captain Jack, we're wondering, uh, in the ban a champ game, like, we're going to ban all the champs, there's going to be 10 left. Who do you think is one of the champs that's going to get through? That's what we're trying to figure out. I'm just trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think of all the champs. <laughs> I, I pulled up a list. Swain, Twisted Fate, Varys. <laughs> Varys. I don't think Swain's getting through. Yeah, Swain's not getting through. Swain's not getting through you, because he's mini Zyra. No, he's not, he's not anything like Zyra. He's more like just Navy Bruiser. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I figure because the CC snare and then the dots. He's, he's like, he's so much a rise, but stronger against um, sustained oh. damage, but weaker versus burst. I think Rise will get through. Oh yeah, I thought his nerves he's got. He's, he's, he's oh, his outrageously long range. Ooh, Squirrel thinks I'm Anivia. Sorry, Raya, you don't. Ooh, Anivia? Well, huh, that's what he says. Well, the rise, the SAP out before. The thing is, I think if they're smart, people will let Lies go through. Because he takes so long now, because his range nerve makes him commit to be squishy so early. Mm. Like, I tried him, and like, Rise I just kind of do it. Rise and in the same thing. sentence? What is this? Have you never seen Double Row Arise before? Early How game. Cause, <laughs> yeah, cause early game. Rise is shit. His Q... Like, oh, we're gonna increase the duration of W by, like, nothing. His Q, W, they, and E range is shorter, they, it's shorter they, than no, no, his auto They attack. literally made everything shorter now. Like, Rise is always meant to be the shotgun, the Q to lead off, and then... Well, hmm. can we move on to they the uh, patch right. notes? I feel like we're spending too much yeah. time on this one. So I was there. just waiting for a spot to, like, break back in. Uh, the, only, the only last question I had is uh, about Day of Dominion is... If this goes well, should we do more of this? Because just playing oh, this has been a lot of fun. If it goes well, yeah, we can make it an annual thing every year. Or every couple of months, like make be seasonal. Ooh, yeah, no definitely. Do one for quarterly. Each one. Yeah, we could. yeah, like every three months. That's doing a one, doing one twenty-four hour stream every three months. That should be doable. Plus, that would give me two days off from work where I don't want to strangle myself. I, I'm very down with this. Okay, now we have uh, patch notes and Yay. patch three point. One one. Uh, we're just gonna do the same thing we normally do. We're just gonna start at the top. We're gonna scroll down. The you no. Know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna address the most important thing first, which is sure. the sellback option. Whatever. Oh my God! Yes. Half-hearted so in charge I no of the show. Have to be vampire acceptor, Malkai. Where is this at? Like it is. Near the you bottom. scroll down and you go to game interface, and there is an undo button in the item shop. Where? Or you can just click on game. Ah, I found it. Okay. Alright. I accidentally bought a BF sword on Swain. Oh my gosh. This is. Whoa. Hello. I'm. This. This is. This patch changes my friend. My. My. Okay. I know, right? Like. My left click my is broken. Scepter Malkai doesn't exist anymore. It's like, it, it never was. <laughs> If I accidentally quadruple click something because pressing my mouse once just makes it go, I can now not. That's awesome. Yeah, like my issue is like I'd be clicking things and then like I'd click Kindle Gym to build into something and then like you guys have seen me be like, wait, why the fuck do I have another Ruby Crystal and then like having to wait another engagement to actually buy anything? Yep. Yep, like I click the same button too many times and I wind up with four long swords instead of three long swords. I think that's the most common one. Okay, so 
universally agreed, this is great? Fuck yes. It's the best change in the Because I just accidentally mm -hmm. bought a Two Seekers Arm Guards. So, yeah, it's definitely amazing. Does there, anybody else have a good I screwed up story? My best one is um, I accidentally bought an entire stack of wards when I just wanted to buy one and then didn't have enough money for an Oracles in SR and it was horrible. I started cool. Doran's Ring on Vayne in SR. Ugh. I sometimes um, got two that was Doesn't really she punks. have AP scaling on something though? Nope. No. No. She Vayne has no oh, I, oh, I, um, I accidentally sold a Triforce once. Ooh, that's hard. You sold your damage? Uh, I once got triple boots before you could only buy one. That was no, that's special. The meta. Yeah, I mean, well, when you're playing at least, you need a lot of boots. One for each little foot, and yeah. for the spiderlings. Oh, that's yeah. They have to have boots also. You, she... Then they gotta do their cam cam dance or yep. whatever. Yeah, and if you're playing Malzahar, you need to get boots for Twerk Puppy also. Twerk Puppy. That was my favorite thing about the Twitch chat from that 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 particular game. So champion changes. Yeah, do we want to? Well, do we want to finish game interface while we're here, and just knock that out? Yeah. Yes, we There's could. only a couple other things. Yeah. Um, but team fight UI. Champion that. passives have range indicators. I like this because now I can see like where the hell they are. And before I had no idea what the actual range was. So we had to mouse over the icon. That's so still fine. For champion you're playing. It's gonna be like cool for like getting to see it the first few games, so you get a sense of where it is exactly, rather than having to play like walk around. Yeah, that'd be nice. And uh, team fight UI. This is interesting. Um, what am I looking at here? Because I'm reading a lot of things that I don't feel like they're telling me anything. Is this gonna basically like add on a bunch of little extra pop-ups that appear? Or something it's like gonna that. It's going to okay. change the UI. Can I can I explain how it works? Yeah, uh, I, I actually I tried I checked out this out on the PBE a lot. Uh, basically, what it does is at any time during the game, you can press A to switch from the normal UI to the team fight UI. What this does is it takes down your two. Um, is it takes down even the scoreboard? And, uh, it takes down the entire UI, uh, like your hiding DUI. Uh, and then what it does is it replaces it with this bar along the bottom where it lists the five champions next to each other, and then, uh, and then in addition to listing and then the, or the all ten champions in a row, and then it has a total health pool uh, showing relative health in terms of how how healthy your team is. Then what it will, then it will um, show death timers on the champion portrait, and they'll also show either uh, lit or dark. Uh, cha uh, champion icons based off of whether the champions are near or far. Um, near means they're on screen, far means they're off screen, but there's some exceptions based off of um, how, based off of a champion's spheres of influence. Yeah. Like, for example, Kog'Maw um, is more likely to show up farther. Um, and because then, he can still affect yeah. whatever's going on yeah. because of his range. Because of his ult, yeah. So, champ so champions that have really long range abilities will still show up, but other than that, it's uh, other than that though, it just shows near and far champions in addition to having the total health pool. Okay. And then also show um, CC what CC effects are on champions. So it'll show like a little um, speech bubble on uh, if you, uh, if you get like a three man uh, mouse on hard silence, it'll show the speech bubbles on the three on the champion icons of everyone who's silenced. Can you still see the mini map? Uh, yes, mini map is still enabled. When do you not have this turned on? Um, because, but because it, it doesn't show the alt icons, and then it also doesn't show detailed information like the, it, it replaces the info on the bottom that's like, um, KDA and items. So it removes, removes all the item stuff. Yeah, I can see why you would. Hmm, I like it. That sounds pretty cool. It gives you a have kill you a, tracker, a too. No, I haven't. Yeah, if you have one, you want to post it in the raid call, and I can show that on the, the screen. That'd be pretty cool. Well, that's going to be... I like it. 
if it helps like sort out what's going on in team fights, I'm all for it as long as it's not like particularly invasive. But if it pulls down everything else, so it's like the it's like the spectator mode swap, right? Where I take down the interface and then it just replaces that with a completely different thing. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, let me copy this. I just posted it in chat. Yeah. Um, and then also, the, the health bars will also show for near or far. So, like, it, it'll, it'll gray out health bar that is still, like, your team has that health, but it's for champions that are not present. Oh, this is really cool. Uh, it shows the... Not... Oh, yeah, it shows ult and summer spells, too, on the bottom. And their cooldowns, which is really nice. Like, in a more convenient way. Wait, is it just for spectator, or is that for, like, everyone quality? That's for everyone. Life? What, so well, I know, no, like, how long, so... Wait, this is oh, spectator I'm only? Excited. Really? It's only spectators? I was excited, no one, like... If, like, oh, they could well, also move your mouse over champion for their ulti, that'd be nice. I think ult is in the bar, if you look at it. Yeah. Well, if that's team fight, if that's, like, only spectator, then I'm not as hype about it, because... That's really cool. And that'd be really useful, like, actually playing. But... I guess that's still okay. Man, yeah, that's a good change for casting. Yeah, I'll, I'll, that'll take like, some you know, playing out, you with. Just push the button and you switch immediately to the thing. I'm gonna spam that a lot during the tournament, and it might be awful, but I have to figure out how to use it somehow. Yeah, um, that, that's what. Gander, I would I would advise like. To, uh, get an in-house going before the tournament this weekend, and just like yeah. and just like watch it using the new UI team fight. Okay, also, um, this is cool for SR, uh, even though it doesn't pertain to us. Um, Baron and Dragon Timer is automatic. I think that's really, really cool. And yeah, and that's, that's just pure trying, good. They're trying to get that in before Worlds. They're yeah. just doing that so it's easier for them, so they don't have to swap anything in, I think. Because they, I heard they have to manually inject it in. Yeah, which, yeah. which really sucks. For the, yeah, so that's all for get the Worlds prep. Since uh, North America, LCS is done, so... It's like Korea and China. That's a really good change. I like that. Uh, so do we want to hit champs now? Because I think that's all we have for game interface. Two yeah. champions. All right, back up to the top. Uh, Draven, 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 Draven. Uh, leave Draven just Not Draven. flat Draven. bonus gold. Up like it. It'll always give bonus gold. Uh, it looks like. And. Do you want someone who plays Draven to explain these? Draven's not viable in Dominion. No chain. No help him at all. I'm, I'm, I'm reading through the things. I'm trying to, like, comprehend them. So, um, mm -hmm. it ganks all of his stacks. And... Gives 50 base now. A gold Praderation stack. Reduced slightly. And... Visual. Visual effects. Buff. Visual and sound. Okay. From League of Draven. On every so Draven kill. So the impact on Dominion Draven, it's still worse. It'll still be worse than his old passive, um, which for Draven st still sucks in Dominion because he wasn't as dominant on Dominion as he was on Summer's Rift. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but but it's, it's a lot better for Dominion because of the base gold because you weren't farming minions and you weren't, and you weren't farming in general to get like, all those stacks. So you don't care as much about the gold per stack. And, uh, but what you do care... But what you do care about is that 50 base gold. So that means um, if Draven gets a quadra kill at Windmill, that's 200 more gold that he's getting in addition to whatever stacks he managed to consume. Okay. So I would definitely say the big change is for his stacks. Well, okay. Um, peoples, does this, does this even do anything? Popples. Paging high popples. He forgot, he forgot how to things. And I think uh, Popples actually disappeared. Let's see. There we go. I fixed your name, Jack. Yeah, we... The Popples has evaporated it. Okay, Fiora changes. Okay. Um, does anyone else have anything to say about Draven? Because I feel like this doesn't really do anything for him in Dominion, and this is just a change that's going to affect yeah, Summer's Rift way more. One thing I know about Popples is that like, he, he has played a bit of Draven, and um, he has spent a lot of time farming minions, so like the whole minion thing, like I, I think I would challenge you on that, Chaos. Is, 
It's, I mean, like, it, it depends. If you're, play, if you're playing bot lane, there's different Dravens. I, bot lane Draven is definitely better than top lane Draven. Even in it's, top lane, you can still, like, as Draven, you, you can, scale you really can do, hard. You can, do, you can do some. Um, but the net changes, though, the total... I, you're not going to build up, up, up enough stacks that you're losing out on the on the gold per stack compared to the fact that you gained the total consumption on kills. Um, Still, it's it's a time. I mean, it's gold. It's like we get so much gold already. It's well, like I don't know. Yeah, that's, Andrew, that's a can very... you put your mic on up, a stock? Oh, is it freaking out? Occasionally, I hear you like sighing or something. Okay, I will mess with it. Let's see. Me, yeah, Draven. I mean, like his passive change kind of screwed him on the Hunt Summoners Rift maps. These yeah. changes aren't really going to help. Yeah, no, it's, it, again, it's still worse than his old passive, um, but I think it, I, I, I think feel like you're trying to make it, I, I feel like you're trying to make it sound good when it really isn't that great. Yeah, I mean, they're buffs, okay, there but I don't think they're... Well, I, I don't think, think it's going to be enough to actually get him an item advantage in a game over, like, another person. I don't, like... Help It'll be worth slightly behind one. It'll best. be worth like six hundred goldish over the course of a game. So and basically, it's... doesn't actually do anything for him. Is what I'm hearing. Yeah, like late game, yeah, it's gonna get him it. get him extra component this, of something this, this around fifteen. The Draven thing is basically the same thing as not having a passive. Okay, so we have. We still get visuals and sounds though now. Oh, oh, yay! Four. It's very Three visuals and gold raining down on Okay, so to Fiora. Yes, Fiora. Uh, Fiora will now choose untargetable and invisible targets if necessary to continue blade waltz. If she needs to jump to such a target, she will do so, though the ability will not deal damage. If the target is revealed and Fiora jumps to them, she'll deal damage as normal. So, characters so that are stealthed will not be revealed, but if they're in a bush... It will also like not an Eve or a Shaco, but no, a no, Bush no. champ. The way the way that well, what they did was like if you can't see it, it won't hurt them, but it will jump to them anyways, just because apparently it was bugging out and doing weird things. Well, if, well, if it was the way it worked was if you were so like you're diving, you're one v you're two of you wanting a Fiora, and she decided to ult you, and you're I don't know like Brand and an Akali. And for a reason, as brand, you have it happened to be next to um, Fiora. Uh, what what would happen is she would ult brand, and instead of doing all five strikes on the brand, if a call, if, and a call had her that's not down, what I'm reading. Would, that's not what I'm reading. What it says, it will now choose untargetable and invisible if necessary. To okay, wait. Blades. Yeah, I, I, mean, I get so it. Live, if, live so like, if the primary it. target dies, like if she ults the brand and the brand dies, and there's an invisible Akali, it will hit the Akali but not actually damage her. And if anything else comes in range, she'll strike through that instead. It yeah, that, that is the way it feels. Uh, it, basically, it's like, hey, you're all right. You're invisible for whatever reason, Timo. I'm gonna be like a big giant obnoxious sign over your head. Hey, there's a Timo here. Hey, we can kill it. Basically, yeah, pretty pretty much what it basically this isn't a change. It's it's a consistency thing, but it isn't really a change. That's well, the quality the, the, of life. the change. Well, the, the change though is that the ult would that if you had a brand and a collie next to each other, but the collie was stealth, it would act, the ult would just cancel. It's not if a random... change. It's it's but it's a consistency it's a thing. It's not it's, really it's something that's necessary to talk about. It, it's a bug fix, and if you're a Fiora player, you would. It's a good fix that'll help Fiora. Yeah, but it's not enough to do to make Fiora viable or really increase her tier at all. Yeah, so I, I I'm just getting that it, you can't play like line of sight games and try to like leash it or break it early. Pretty much. It's a oh, minor yes. quality of life change that isn't really going to affect your play on the menu. Yeah, because she still is squishy as fuck. And if you're in a ELO where you're per se my ELO, I could get away with it because people are too stupid to not notice the W, but in tournament play, it's going to do nothing except maybe Mitsuru play her if Ari and everything else is target banned. Which leaves everything else OP for the rest of the team. Let's just move on. Yep. Uh, Galio, 
I'm gonna. I think I can simplify this one a lot because the, it's nothing but buffs for the ultimate. How many more Idol of Durans does this, does this give him in the game base? Is it a 10 or 20 second cut off of the it's cooldown? 20, 15, 10. So it used to be 170, 150, 130. It's now 150, 135, 120. And the mana cost is now a flat 100. That's hmm. obvious boss complete across the board. Well, yeah, that's what I said. I just... How many more? Yeah. Is this two, three oh. more without cooldown reduction? Four yeah. with cooldown reduction? Something like that. And the thing is, you won't have to um, immediately rank it up because, like, keeping with passive XP, you can upgrade another skill, then ultimate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are, are you saying that you would not put a rank into your ultimate when you have the option to put a... Please tell me you didn't just no, no, say if that. No, no, if it's still on CD, if it's... I did it on Jenna. Would just use it. If it well, was literally just off Jenna, CD... Yeah, you don't like, gain cooldown I mean. from Jen's ult. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you, you do. Oh, you do. Oh, you do. Oh, you do. Well, that shows how much I know about her. I was meaning like, cause you know how it'll still be all CD for like two more fights. Does anyone if you just went on cooldown when you hit level eleven? Yeah, you'll probably still much. be on cooldown by the time you hit twelve, so you can just yeah. level up then. That's what I just said. What Storm did. I mean, that was a strong kit, but his ult's been on a really long cooldown. The cooldown decrease, it's still gonna be on a long cooldown, it'll be a little bit less, we'll have to see how that plays into Galio being effective. His, the rest of his kit's great. It's getting his R off in Dominion without the uh, mobility. It, it's more difficult in Dominion, because you don't usually... You can take Flash, but it's harder to do. You lose some better summoner spells. So even with the cooldown, it's still a difficult ability to use properly. Alright, so that's straight up good. Uh, Mordekaiser, there really isn't much to say about this. It's a change that makes sense. Uh, segmented health bars, or the segmented shield health now appears uh, like health segments does. You get a visual gauge of what's going on with the shield. That makes it a little bit easier to decide how you want to like trade or engage on by having a direct, able, direct ability to see the health. Yeah, now you can actually see that it's like a 600 point shield instead of just being, oh shield, I'm going to go more to like Oh no, right. he's got a full shield, but how much is that really? Now it's going to be apparent. Yeah, like, I was, I, I, this actually interested me. Like, I read this change and I, I went to the wiki code. Like, I did actually know how big a shield got. And turns out the shield gets up to like a 600 point shield or something. And at max level, I was like, holy shit, I didn't know it was that big. Singed, bug fix where fling was dealing more damage than tooltip values. Indicated. Was it actually doing more thought. damage? I don't know how much. I don't yeah. know how big a thing that is. It. I don't think it will affect anything at all. Yeah. I can't imagine really what's happening. Was it, was it that the previous singed nerfs that went through did not actually go through, or doesn't say? They didn't say. Because remember, I remember it's I'm not. Where, I yeah. think. I think it's just saying like the numbers were wrong because I saw someone play singed and I noticed no number difference. What I think it was is, um, oh, Jack, did it actually do more damage, or did it just say, like, oh, you went to for it, it was apparently like, doing. It was apparently doing more damage than it was supposed to. I think that the what happened is that the some that someone at Riot put in the tooltip changes without fixing the actual numbers on Singed Fling possible, from several yeah. patches ago. Eh, it's Which possible, but it doesn't really do yeah, anything either way. Yeah. It could, depending on if it was that, then that could be pretty big because that was a they chunked forty da base damage off of Singed with those recent nerfs, and if those did not actually go through, that could be pretty big. We also have Thresh, uh, Thresh Death Sentence. Target cleanses the initial spell or blocks it. The chain will now shatter, preventing Thresh from casting Death Leap. Does anyone here even play Thresh? No. Uh, I, do, I do once. I do. <laughs> I do trollers, no. trollers, and then I, um. I was so excited for Thresh. I won. And I love Thresh. That's like, a huge. Not term. even the core concept. I love the champion in general, but that like just takes a giant crap on him. It literally says, it's "Hi, I'm Silver. I can beat him now." It just. It doesn't silver. really change. M well, I mean. It doesn't it, change shit yeah, in the you, you still have to yeah. spell shield it, but it doesn't change much. Like most uh, most games, yeah, it's in Dominion, gonna it's not gonna change. Yeah, yeah. I think like, what it did too is, um, honestly, I always thought that I never understand why if like the initial spell hooks someone and then they spell shoot, I could still lead to them. I didn't get why that. It didn't just be like, 
Oh, you try to? No, but I'm still gonna be tugged to you. I never understood that. I think that's like an initial that should have happened. Well, now they're doing it for consistency stuff. How like spell shield interact with some spells. I said it's a brutal thread earlier. Yeah, on the it's, it's, it's like if I cleanse the chain, I should indeed. cleanse the entire chain instead of just the root. Yeah. Okay. That um. Was my Mike uh, says he's got to go uh, pretty soon here, um, but he wanted to mention something on Lulu. Uh, do we have Demanding it for a second? Specific changes. Oh, it looks like he's Mike. already out of the way. I think he's already gone. I think he means when we come back, because we still have got Udyr, Zach, a few more things. Alright, two back to the SR stuff. Because isn't okay. Lulu like the last one almost... Uh, it's just middle. And we'll get we'll yeah, get back down there. Further down. Oh, is back. Two Udir, so quality of life, yay. Yeah, this is I just I we get a timer. Last anyway. Cause yeah, like I was, I was always like I I tried Phoenix, playing Phoenix, Phoenix Bear and yeah, I would always lose track of it personally. It's like okay, yeah. is, it, is it just a counter, not a timer? It, it's, it's just, just, it's just a counter. Now. Okay, like it's, 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 like, it's, it's just like static. Uh, well, no, it's, it's it's like TF's passive. You know, okay, you I got a little counter thing. I got confused. Yeah, because I got confused by saying timer. And I was like, his passive is a time. Life. Okay, if it's just a counter, yeah, that's pretty basic. It doesn't really do anything, and I, I don't think it'll really affect anyone. Because I just saw the quality of life. Day, yeah. That's Tiger's all it is. The quality anyway. of life. All right. Plus, it's, core to know plus it's, also it's, it's not even no no. It, it's not a change to Udyr. All it is is you can now see when your next yeah, uh, Phoenix happens. rock is going to be. So it's, it's just, just quality of life. Okay. It's just for the player. Okay. Zach changes. Zach changes. Chaos. For, yeah. Let me intro okay. the segments. Sorry. Yeah. Please don't talk to me while I'm doing the intros, man. Um, Zach, do we have someone here who plays a lot, of Zach? Um, I've got like, I think 60 Zach games. I played a bit of Zach. I've played him twice. So, kind of, but not really. <laughs> I've played him a decent amount. Uh, Fancy, to my knowledge, the most knowledgeable Zach player, except for maybe Sauron, because apparently I heard Zach was a monster on threes, which. Have you guys noticed how Zach, since release, has always been tier 1 on the list? But other than. Like maybe twice, no one has picked Zach on Soren's lists. He's been tier one, like upper mid tier he, one. Well, I mean, like, well, for one, Soren's tier yeah. isn't all. Plus, like, you know, champions like, like Poppy, Vang. like even even when like Poppy was strong and well known that she was OP, not many people played her because she was boring as shit. And yeah. I assume but, Zach has just. I mean, there, there's I think, other tanks. I think it's more of it's not that Zach was complete shit. It's just that Lenola for a lockdown, even, even like Sedge with her old and new Zach form. has better locked. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty even. Well, but the, th it, it the, the thing with Zach is like people were know. still stuck playing other uh, uh, tanks. Yeah. It's, like, it's just a matter of stuff people want to play. I feel like, yeah, I feel like unless I had like an Iceborne or Relays or even the Odd Frozen Mallet, which actually worked out pretty well because help. But that's besides the point. It was a stupid idea. Um, like my issue with Zach is you either have to E for initiation or for sticking, and then you need your teammate there. Whereas Lenoa, you could stall and stall and stall. Or as Sedge is like, well, this is taking too long. Oh, I see your teammate. I mean, yeah. Zach can stall kind of well. Zach will get the fuck. Zach it's has his niche moments where he'll get away. Whereas Sedge is like. Well, nothing I can do. It's Zach. Well, it's... I mean, Zach, Zach is just like yeah. Sedge or He He's not like a tanky tank that he has no any defense necessarily. It's, he's more of like a damage tank. Like, he's very much like a Moon Moon that like, just goes in yeah, and does a shit like, ton of damage and stuff. It's like, okay, guys, I'm going to do my damage. They're t focusing on me. I'm dead. Please clean up. Whereas Sedge and Lenoa is like, hey, I'm going to do some damage too. Well, more so Sedge because of the percent thing. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't underestimate Zach's damage hour. You like if, if you build Zach for damage, which you should be building to do a bit of damage at least, he can really chunk people. There's a reason they've been nerfing his bases the last couple of patches. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, they've been nerfing that's for a few months until because finals. I'm sad because I like Zach, but it's it's purely SR. 
Yeah, so getting to these specific changes, they don't affect Dominion at all, unless you were playing bot lane, Zach, which I don't think anyone was. Even in bot lane, I don't think it would affect it too much, honestly. Well, there recently yeah, have been... The bush. There's recently been a couple of top lane, um, you know, sections where I've actually seen him, and it seems like this is just this is going to um, dent his uh, sustain a little bit. Uh, sometimes it's in fights, it's not really going to dent anything. Honestly, like, I think so. Is still going to be a very very strong champion. I, I honestly don't see this making any difference at all. To Zach, uh, the travel size. It'll now be from 1,000 to 700. That could actually All the way help around, him. From 700 to 1,000. Oh my god, that could actually. That's a nerf. Yeah, that yeah. that extra yeah, step that he has to take here. in order to get to it, it no, feels that, like that, it could that, screw that, up that, position. That's, that's, that's no, that that's not how far. Like the chunks already flew within uh, that 1,000 meter range. Now it's just increasing the range at which nearby enemy champions will cause those chunks to fly further. It's not really that big of a deal. Also a because point if you're point blank, out. like if you're point blank with someone, there's absolutely no change at all. So okay. I'm not really not saying anything. He can what if I measure Mystic Shot poking him down? <laughs> at 1,000 range. Another one to poke beyond 1,000 range. <laughs> Turn him off the last Q in... Mystic Shot or something like that. I don't think but it's, it's basically the, the the only thing it does is like now like before a champion had to be within 700 range to cause the chunks to fly slightly further, and now you can be a thousand range away to cause chunks to fly slightly further. It's 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 honest enough but that big of a deal. Yeah. Um. Honestly, it's more they did a hey he can't just oh I use every one of my abilities pick up all my chunks. Bam, I've held and done so much more damage. Oh, and here's a few more W's and Q's. The entire point of this nerf is to yeah. nerf his SR laning because okay. just, just make yeah. it slightly slower. It I guess it's not gonna do it. Also his um he can actually pick them up quicker, but it's more of like uh oh, it's by the enemy now. It's pretty much unless I'm wrong. Which am I? They didn't I increase the distance. Okay, so they well, well, slightly they, increased they, it. It's more of it could land a little closer to the enemy, which could be near minion waves. What I'm reading it. Can this can this be summed up as RNG now? R yeah. This can be summed up as minute RNG. Yes. All right. It's not a big change. He gets a slight increased pickup range, and the timer is now nothing when he's doing an ultimate. But that doesn't really matter anyway. All right. Scrolling down a little bit now. The ultimate thing is not nice. Yeah, that's not that okay. bad. Yeah, the so uh, safely, landing point thing so is cool. Ignore items. Yeah, the items is that's a tooltip uh, thing, right? No, visual effect. Okay. That's a bug fix. Yeah, that's it doesn't actually no change the play. item. Uh, sanguine blade uh, recipe. Okay, this is something I'm afraid of. Why so they made that? Sanguine Blade cheaper. Like they, they they made a very incredibly powerful AD sustain item cheaper and easier to get and AD is already in a pretty good spot right now like especially Bruges and so oh wow that's and I a lot of gold off the top just gonna yeah. Put, yeah I fear this is gonna like put like the nail in the coffin for AP bot lanes with, with, their, with a couple yeah. of exceptions I think because they it mages are not gonna keep up with us wait mages there's no not stat change they just changed the recipe and the total cost, but they didn't change yeah. the stats. No, I'm yeah, pretty sure that there's a stat the change, yeah. There should be stat changes in there. I They may have no, just no, forgotten. No, no, I'm reading it. Uh, yeah, I there is no the, stat change, apparently. Yeah, the stats were changed they were gonna Because they were going to lower it slightly. Yeah, they were supposed to lower it to 50 base AD. I think they fucked it, or they just didn't list the change. I kind of have to talk to them about that. Yeah, let's because hope that they did listed. reduce it, because getting that much AD at that is... That's going to be really scary. There's Either a... way, Sango and Blade's going to be OP. Yeah. You just need the Infinity Edge to drop down a bit. <laughs> if you're trying to Please no. The, uh, the I, 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 is fine. No. I is fine. I know, but like, they like, it seems like they're trying the to cost. remove, since they removed the needlessly large rod, they're trying to do that same thing with the BF sword. So I have, eventually we'll get like, probably get a mini IE is what I'm thinking. 
Double okay. Pickaxe. I have a question about this. Uh, because of the, the the significant gold change to it, does that put this item in reach of champions that might not otherwise have gotten this item? Yes. Yes. Which ones? All I of them. Could probably slap, I probably slap. I'm gonna be slapping it onto my Lee Sins a lot earlier. Hey, what about you? Who do you? Who's, like who's getting all it? Of the eight, like, well, pretty much all of the 80 bruisers couldn't possibly pick J4, this up. Like, it's going to be even more attractive to uh, 80 carries as well. And, but, and anything that's physical 80 bot lane, like, is going to really like Sango and Blade. Nocturne down Tyler bot, just got maybe? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, don't know, I, still feel, I feel like Nocturne can um, still want Hydra. Hydra. Yeah. yeah. Like, Why not both? Or no, like Hydra. Ooh. No, we gotta contest between Hydra, Sanguine, Lantern. You're, you're, why do you have to choose? So much, so you're yeah, underestimating seeing, the power um, of lifesteal stacking. I remember seeing Sauron yeah. um, stack Greg Lanterns on Lucian. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lucian will actually, because it's so cheap, that might actually be decent for bottom lane Lucian. Sanguine Blade was is always like has always been an AD carry. Uh like for a bot lane AD carries it's always been like core on them. And it's just gonna make it even stronger. Well, AD carries. Ooh, just got a good anyways. point about Ergot. Like yeah, it'll be usually really good I didn't... For him earlier. Yeah. Like after the brutal or bef or after the last whisper. Depends like, on when you need it. Because I always do get, like, the vamps up there pretty early, one or the two. It depends on when you need it, like, like um, if you're getting so hard lane where you need to stay and you grab it earlier. And if you're stomping and you can just afford to buy more damage, you grab the Whisper and just crush your lane harder with more damage. Now, will we have people um, debating to getting Bork or... Sanguine now? Why would you get Borg on that thing? Like, Borg is a oh, very, God, very sucks. situational... Because, I mean, like, you get the Vampire Acceptor. I mean, like, seeing how some AD champion, carry, There are AD very carries. few uh, AD carries who actually make good use of Borg. Like, most uh, ranged ADs are going to prefer Sanguine Blade and never, ever want to touch Borg. And the exceptions are, like, Vayne and... I don't know. Uh, like... No, I wouldn't actually get it on COG. Twitch? Like, like, <laughs> no, I, it's basically just like Vayne and Lucian, and even then I would rather just stack Ben on Lucian. Anybody have any closing I mean, thoughts like, on Cog, Sanguine? Cog needs to go, like, Cog should be going like Whitson, Frozen Mallet. Closing thoughts? Um, if... That recipe change came with no stat change. That is going to be... It's now going to become the League of Sanguine Blades. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's going to be the League of Mages don't exist in bot lane anymore anyway. It's just how badly they're going to get stomped out. Yeah, I think the on. ADs will have far more consistent sustain with this. If, you know... Well, just with the, with the cost decrease in general. I mean, because it's stacking, like... You'll be able to keep it up a lot and... It just seems like you will out sustain casters all the time, with the exception of what maybe maybe new new. Yeah, there's a couple mages who could possibly live in a lane like that still. But it's gonna but really it's knock the number not, down. I yeah, think Malk has it's I think that kills Malkai bottom. Pretty like, much, yeah. He has it, trouble enough anyway. And then plus all the uh he slap a spear visage like that alone. The yeah, well, what's going to happen to Malkai bot is he, he's going to go up against the bruiser, and the bruiser is going to get like uh, a Hydra what? and a Sango and Blade. And the bruiser is going to attack, uh, gonna, like just he's going to ignore the Malkai and he's going to kill the minions. And now Malkai doesn't have his cooldowns, and the bruiser is still at full hell. And he just yeah. he repeat until Malkai is forced out of lane. So, like, like, just, not... I, I pretty, like it's a Malkai player that. Sides me, but this may as well be the nail in the coffin for bottom way Maokai, at least for a pretty long while. Alright, we also have Nidalee, uh, and... You know, I like this, because one of the things that's always irritated me is the duration. Fire. The duration is going to be reduced uh, by a lot. Like, just so gutted. Good. This is this Thank change is amazing. Hallelujah. 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 H
I should know, probably I, shred some of that penetration because right now it's forty percent at max, and that's, that's even more than the current by lower, staff. Lowering the duration of the trap, like lowering duration is fine. Like I, I'm okay with them leaving the percent at what it is. I want to bring them down to the current L Last Whisper and Void well, Staff values. Well, here's the thing: high. like we actually talked about that because like a man will fold me and a couple of high dominion guys into a Skype chat. We talked about this, and we're like, well. The, uh, like, like with the other nurse, like reducing the trap, actual trap duration that they can be on the map and hitting the duration of the uh, debuff and you don't need to hit the pin anymore, like the pin is fine because it is, I don't know, I, I think it's fine. I, the reveal, wait, my, my wrong key, the reveal like was one of the crazy things about it. I mean, yes, the armor MR thing. But, I mean, you step on one of those, and you can deny the armor MR reduction, just like, oh, hang out, I'm going to wait this out, I'm not going to push that point or something necessarily, you avoid a fight, but 12 seconds of vision is just staggering how long the that it can track you. The two-minute trap duration is a much better, um, is a much better uh, limitation on Italy than, like, act, the actual armor MR, because, I don't know, I, I, I feel like it'll be... Better now. It'll be, it'll be better, yes. Than yeah, like, I mean, oh, Nidalee will, Nidalee will probably still be stupid, but she'll be much less stupid. Now they just need to fix the invisible spears <laughs> from Fog oh, of War. God. No, they need to fix the invisible sweeper particle. Ooh. That too. I think they ninja that in because I haven't had any. I've been expecting a lot of people and I haven't seen the random bullshit sweeper vision. But it might not be that noticeable because uh, there's no game there's yeah. screaming. Yeah, there's no, it's not as easy of a thing to notice. You have to look for the particle, or yeah. look at your buff bar. And Teemo changes. Oh, I was just about man. to say, Teemo changes. Delicious tears of shit rat spammers. Teemo's... And them. nothing of value was lost. <laughs> I think, I think, um, I can, uh, maybe, I might barely be qualified to talk about this. I feel like this change means we will see less mushrooms down in the bottom half of the map and see them more restricted to this top lane. This change means less mushrooms, period. Like, Timo, because those traps last literally forever, you could have infinite mushrooms on the map. And a three-minute duration on the mushrooms means that there are going to be freaking 60% less shrooms on the map. Actually, no, 70% fewer shrooms on the map. This is great. Yeah, with with the aggressive um, you know, vision use that I see you guys doing in competitive play, the the mushrooms seem to be mitigated pretty well up top. But oftentimes he would you know just kind of sprinkle them all around the okay, bottom. Okay, Gander, right? well, let, let me tell you something. So I, I just is that finished a thing? spectating a game. I, no, Gander, I just finished spectating a game earlier, and there was a Teemo on one team, and the other team that was playing against Teemo had like four revealing items and despite that I counted about seven shrooms in bot lane and about five in top lane. I was like, well I cannot wait for this rat to get the, nerfed. That's a quote like that because there's so many times where like the random bullshit mushroom which fucks you like it's not even yeah. nerfed now. It's like okay so you haven't been to the other team's side and a while because you can't get windmill now back. Now teamos are they actually play. going to have to choose where they want their shrooms. And they're when... going to have to make a choice. Where do I want my shrooms to be concentrated? And they're going to have to actively keep them concentrated up. Like teamos like... just can't. It's it's you're going to actually have to maintain your shroom fields. You can't just be put them all over now. Ooh, that's Plus, it's not just random RNG bullshit jungle control. I think that's the best the best point you could have possibly made, Half, is you now have to... Have, there's now upkeep similar to the way that wards have upkeep. You yeah, can't just you, fire you and forget. You can't just put a shroom down and it's there forever until someone steps on you. Actually, it's, gone, it's going to expire, and you're going to have to go back and put it back. And by putting a shroom down where the former one was, you're not putting another shroom, say, in a more aggressive or obnoxious location, or just in a random spot, like... There's going to be less shrooms on the map, and they're all going to be. I mean, not all of them are going to be concentrated in, like. But, like, it's just going to make Dominion more. It's it's going to make playing against Timo less frustrating. Yeah. I, it's the um, Timo now to have more strategic placements. They're probably going to just pop it here. Yeah, pop it here. Pop it here. 
What like storm bad follow teamos, death and I, I I suspect that bad teamos are actually going to be bad now instead of just herd or I'm teamo I put shrooms <laughs> and even if I die yeah. I'm so no no the team. truly bad teamos never put down a shroom I've been yelling at my uh, only bad teamos to put okay, down a freaking shroom where are my shrooms oh man that's shrooms. so but the, the good teamos are probably so just going to be as obnoxious as ever good teamos yeah. will be good bad teamos will be noticeably bad and awful teamos remain unchanged is that what I'm hearing Pretty as awful much, teamos yeah. remain unchanged <laughs> All right, we have Kasten as well. I like this a lot because I just do. His silence was insanity, and now it's they're, they're taking the whole point six off of it, which I like a lot. So for what this changes for me, like the way I play Kasten, this means I am unchanged from levels one to seven, I believe. Like when I play Kasten, I, I'm at E first. But yeah, that extra point six seconds off of his Q is really, really nice. I actually wish they'd taken another half a second. Like I, I was probably up reducing it down to one permanent, like just one across the border, one to one point five. I think if they knocked another point, like one or point two yeah. off of it overall, then I think then Cassidy might not quite be the destroyer yeah. of worlds. But that silence is just ugly. Like you tag someone with it, and it's just like I can check my email and then kill you. Yeah. He, 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 you do have to remember that he still has an uh, obscenely high burst, and he's, his ult means that he's still super, super safe. Alright, we have... Go ahead, I play. Go ahead. Oh, um, we also have Kha'Zix, um, unless you had something else to add about Kasten, because I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, uh, I was basically saying, like, when I play Kasten, I play him as, like, a super safe uh, burst cap, like, I take my fight to keep her... If, if you're watching the Accursed uh, Tournament when Sifu gave me Cassidy for whatever reason, that was like, the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I, I, in I basically my I was like, life. The I was like they're, they're, they're playing the pick off the Cassidy and comp. I'm like, but I'm Cassidy. I don't mm. get picked off. I decide when I go in and when I just. I, I think it's they were expecting the blind Q bullshit Cassidy, and because it's Sifu, he's used to. I, I think that's more on Sifu pre made mistake. Because you know Sifu pre-made. We, we all know Sifu has to pretty much play in pre-made. <laughs> this isn't shots fired. This isn't calling him out. It's everyone That's and their mother. Life. The yeah. Sifu pre-made and it's OP spam. We've seen the forum threads. Random people have made all of probably like 40 threads so far. I think the official total's out. Only 40? Only 40 since I started, which was like around, what was it, 21? Or forty one something? I don't know. But yeah, Cass I mean Cassin will still be OP, like even after this he's gonna be OP. This change is I think the passive about The passive is next. Can we pretty much agree that Stormfall instead? Cause it is a matter of like, yeah you're gonna hit his kit, but you can still get bulky based on passive alone. Yeah. Like, I think the I, passive I is next. Like, it, it, I the optimal in my opinion, the optimal way to build Kassin is just to ignore defenses and just go pure class because, again, you're the safest damn champion in the league. You don't have to build defense. You just choose when you go in. You have massive bases and really high scaling to work off of, and you have a decent amount of CC, too. Um, like, I feel like we're going through maybe two or three more changes before they significantly mess with him like, actually change his kit some. Like, I always felt like a simple change would to be, like, a weird, like, homing... Like, if you were to have, like, Heimer W mix him with, like, a Zig Q somehow. Riot doesn't silence. change champion mechanics between yeah. maps. They want to keep yeah, the that's probably not going to happen. The numbers. Yeah. It's I do think Pop much... Jamba would be reckless, though. Just probably pretty far down. Yeah. We also have some Kha'Zix, uh changes here. Uh, the isolation damage bonus has gone down by 10%, and missing health damage has gone. Is he still going to be able to force people out of fights with this spell? Yeah. He's still going... He It's it's basically going to make him slightly less stupid, but... Um, He's not going to just destroy a tank now. This honestly, like, like tanks only. Ha, no, he, no, he'll he'll still rape a tank. I mean, it'll be slightly slower, but he'll well, still destroy 
would take yeah. a lot. Like, Kazix is kind of pushy instead of getting insta- the strength of Kha'Zix is that he's super mobile while, like, like, like Cast and Kha'Zix is really, really safe. Like, you have a ridiculous... Honestly, like, his jump is what needs to be hit. They need to cut down the range yeah, on the jump. I've always yeah. felt that. As a, and this is that thing, like, I was playing him, like, for the first few days, because Kha'Zix was the first champion I'd seen in forever, not just, like, spammed, and then it was that, which felt really weird because, to me. Because, like, Kha'Zix is not actually a 100-0 champion. He, and, late game, he cannot 100-0 anything. He's, he's going to need two Qs to kill someone, and that that means that his opponents have time to get that. Kha'Zix's yeah. strength... This is his ability to cover a large amount of ground really quickly, get to someone, hit that person really fast, and duel them if necessary. He's a strong duelist, but he loses out in burst to pretty much every other assassin in the game. At least late game. Yeah. Early game, he's pretty strong, though. He, yeah, he's like one of the few, at least in my opinion, he, like right from the start, he's like boom, and then like he yeah, falls off. Yeah, most most assassins they start off weak, and then they ramp up really, really hard. And Kazix, he starts off really strong, and while he's still really strong late game, he doesn't gain like the ridiculous one hundred zero capabilities yeah. of Talon. And smarter yeah. players can actually <laughs> shut him down. Whereas like Talon will be like, I'm gonna I... Do you really think that smart players can shut him down? Because the smart okay, players I... have tried to shut More him down before. To... It doesn't I, work. I feel like he's easier to shut down than per se a fish who's also bad shit. And like I don't well okay, Fizz is also pretty stupid late game. Like Talon is really easy to shut down if you know how to shut him down. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, well, it's is hard to more shut I feel down like because Because he has to have that early game, like if you fuck him early, he'll suffer until he starts getting assists and jumps in yeah. but Kha'Zix yeah. is strong at all phases of the game. I I disagree with that. He's a Leona to You've the never face. You've never played low elo. Yeah, yeah, like Alan. Well, <laughs> these are bad. Kha'Zix. Yeah, we're talking about. Like, this is, we're, we're talking about like the Kha'Zixes who don't build any. Like, we're talking about, like Merle. I'm gonna build Trinity first. I like weird, horrible garbage like, shit that makes you, me. You, you don't gauge. You guys have seen my Kha'Zix rage. You, you don't I mean, gauge champion that, um, strength by low elo, that's just not how it works. No, I, I mean more in the sense that, like, compared to, like, others who can more fit in, like, from my experience playing Sticks to Chop Roach, that, like, he does at least need, like, one more competent follow-up tank, whereas Talon, it's like, okay, do we have a bursting mage or a tank, and then clean up? Talon like actually require actually Talon requires more of a team than Kha'Zix does. Yeah, Kha'Zix, Talon is like, very breakable. Um, yeah, yeah, like Talon is more likely to go negative than way more likely to go negative than Kha'Zix because he can get shut down really hard. Like the enemy team has any resemblance of like a CSC front line. If they have a Leona or just stuff that can jump on him and lock him down for you know like a second, he's dead. Like, Kha'Zix doesn't have that problem because he can just choose when he wants to go in, and when he does, like... Like, Kha'Zix has the option to basically play the ranged AD caster role. Like, he can just spec out his W and just play the whole opportunistic, I'm going to sit in the back and wait for something to get low and just jump on them with my E and tear their face off and then jump out again. Alright, yeah. we... Talon is all in. But yeah, let's, let's move on. Yeah, we, we, we got a little bit off the topic of the change there, which was just yeah. the... The Q thing. Um, I only have one thing to throw yeah. in on the Talon Kazix subject, though, because uh, someone once asked me to compare assassins back at like DD thirty, like eight or something. This was a little bit after Christmas, and uh, no, it wasn't thirty eight. It was way after Christmas because it was after I came back from festival. So somewhere like somewhere in like uh, February, March of this year, and I want to say like mid fifties DD. Something like that, um, like late forties, is that uh, someone you know asked about like someone just asked me straight up like, hey, who's the who's the best assassin? And I'm like, I'm not really qualified to answer that, you know, man. He's like, no, no, you have all the screenshots. Like, which one's actually the best assassin? I'm like, oh, um, and I, I went back through it, and one of the things that I noticed in particular about uh, because this was we were seeing a lot of talent at the time because of um, Dinov and Sifu, 
and uh, we saw a lot of Kha'Zix in general. And comparing those two, like not counting Eve or some of the other ones, but just for Kha'Zix Talon, is that uh, Talon dies roughly like between 30 and 40% more often than Kha'Zix does overall throughout the course of a game. Uh, however, Talon will typically net more kills than Kha'Zix. He's um, a lot more fragile, but his burst is higher. But it also seems like in games, the Talons that do well seem to run the show a little bit harder than Kha'Zix does, but that's only because of burst potential, because between Talon's jump and his stealth, he can cover a lot more invisible ground than Kha'Zix can with his stealth or leap, because he's targetable I'm during his leap. I'm not surprised by those numbers at all. Like, this all makes sense. This all corresponds to what I know about those champions. Yeah, that's just I those two. Like you, you could think of Map Talon as like an all-in just AOE burst mage. Like he goes in and he attempts to 100 zero as much things as possible because basically everything he does, well, besides his Q auto attacks, are uh, AOE. So like Talon is very, very like all or nothing. I feel like either he does really well or he does very poorly. And Kha'Zix is more of like Kha'Zix isn't as uh, like, Kha'Zix is way more reliable than Talon. He's going to yes. do his job. But Kha'Zix he, but will he do doesn't that. have, like, the sort of ridiculous, uh, like, just ridiculous spike case that Talon does. And we also have Lulu uh, up next. Wall growth cooldown increased. Um, I don't think there's really a lot to say about this, actually. Uh, this sucks for Lulu. It's Unfortunately. Not, it's unnecessary. And... I feel like this change is completely unnecessary. She's going to have it up yeah. plenty of time with cooldown reduction anyway, am I right? Wait, Aaliyah, you play Lulu, yeah. don't you? Not uh, much, but this is what Zimai had to say. It's not really necessary to nerf her, especially with Kale Alt, which has a 36 second cooldown at max rank with max CDR. Yeah, Lulu's ult still not quite as good as that. Lulu, no, yeah, like, she brings... Uh, Gander, Gander, you have the stats on Lulu, right, from BB? Like, they're uh, they're not he... quite done yet. Um, what do you want to know? But, like, if if you remove C-Mike from the equation, what is Lulu's win percent? 38%. What? I feel like this might hit her in solo queue, but in tournaments, probably not as much, assuming those stats are it. Yeah, um... Did you, did you say 48 or 38? 38. 38. Wow. Lulu, out if you remove Z-Mike from the equation, Lulu has a 38% <laughs> win rate in Dominate Dominion. And that is... Why we ban her other than... No, it's so because you people are so stuck. It's because everyone's hung up on Z-Mike's Lulu. They don't, haven't actually taken a step back and been like, hmm... If, if Z-Mike's not playing Lulu, she's actually a terrible champion. Hold on, there's a couple oh, other things right. to note about this. The, um, there's also uh, two other players that have been very successful with Lulu. Um, Aish has a really good win rate with Lulu as well, and uh, Infeed, um, as of right now, Infeed's also perfect on Lulu. Well, that's, that's, is that because that's it's Infeed's Lulu, or is that because Pax is OP? It, it could be yeah. that it is very possible that is uh, is the case. Remember, I'm not done because with all of them the yet. The thing about Pex is that like Pex doesn't actually pick Lulu against Clueless because they know she's not strong enough to act. Like they know they're not good enough with her, and that she's not strong enough to use. Like I remember a couple turnies ago, we purposefully left Lulu open against Pex because we needed another Lulu player, and they. They like they had to leave her open because they had to ban to Ace Cassio or something, and it was like we didn't pick her until pick fourth pick. That game, I don't I don't remember. All I know is that like we left Lulu until like third or fourth pick because we weren't afraid of Pex picking Lulu. We were like, if you guys pick Lulu, it's a free win for us. Uh, Stormfall wanted to know how big the sample size was. Uh, how many Lulu games in competition? Uh, like, every single one I have a screenshot for. There's a total of, like, 847 games. Sorry, Obviously, Lulu is not in all of them. Um, for Infeed specifically, he's only, like, 4-0. He doesn't play it very often, but it's kind of noteworthy that he has a perfect. That's kind of a cool thing for a player yeah, to have. Yeah, but that's still a small sample size, though. Because the mic only has 6. Oh, yeah. 
But then again, wow. we started banning it away from Zemeik, so that does have some of that. Now, Zemeik's is going to climb because he's been able to play Lulu since then. I haven't gotten through all of them because it's actually really difficult to pull champ-specific stats because you have to kind of look through the screenshots a little bit more carefully. And uh, I'm, it's not completely done yet, but right now Lulu's not looking, not doing so well. Yeah, Mike yeah. is probably the only ban worthy Lulu and all that. Yes. I, mean, I would just ignore her against the other teams. I'll, I'll treat her as if she's not a ban or a pick. Also, Unless you not... have like a full bruiser team. Also, I've noticed in in houses people aren't banning her anymore unless there's like a noticeable support player now, or like someone who mostly plays supports. Like she used to be chat banned, and now she's just like not even banned. Yeah, like people she's... would rather hit the generic four. Like I remember, like you would swap out her for Wu, and then just one of them just want to get picked for in houses. Ooh, speaking of Wu Kong, by the way. Um, That's the next one. Yeah, I let, up with this. let me OP. let me throw the the cyclone cooldown change. It's ten seconds. I feel like he's still gonna have it up when he needs it, especially considering he's brutalizer, still gonna right? Have it up when he needs it. Yeah, he's still gonna be strong. And how is the stone skin change really gonna be that significant? Like, is there any portion no. of the game no. that this is gonna be a thing? <laughs> no, it's he's gonna lose like also, there was somewhere. He's gonna lose like ten armor and MR from it, though, like anywhere from you know six to ten, depending on how big the uh, fight is. I think it was Mountain Wolf or Vesh, Don't quote me, or it might have even been on the PBE by someone completely different. But they, there was a post somewhere they were like, "Yeah, we know this isn't enough. We're already working on more." Like they specifically oh. named, "Yeah, Wukong's already getting more." I forget. We're don't one hundred percent quote me, but I know for a fact. I don't remember who. I don't remember when. If it was DD chat forums or like in game. All right. But Wukong, there is already apparently talks for more Wukong. I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't know about that because it could have changed. And um, I like think Wukong, on his I feel like queue. while he is really strong, I. In a, in a uh, organized competitive setting, I don't necessarily feel that he's OP. You can counter him with a team. Yeah. You can counter him with Jaina, Lee Sin. Um, yeah, Jaina really, really hurts Wukong. She, yes, he, he she can just blow him out of her. I think it's mostly because currently he's like a uh, gap closer, get out, AoE knockup, batshit. Wukong is yeah. like, it's pretty the much way it. I see him. That's just his kid. Wukong is basically he walking out of it. Like, Wukong is a walking ult, and without his ult, he is completely inferior to J4, or Zen Zhao, or pretty much all the bruisers. Like, if you took his ult out of the equation, I'd rather have a Trundle, or just, you know, like, Trundle, that 30% armor shred's pretty good on his Q. But it's not, or that's not the reason why you pick him, because you could pick a J4 and get an AoE armor shred, on top of massive AoE burst damage. Yeah, but that's not until rank 5 you get that. <laughs> Um, like, Wu the you, high like, level, Wu high well, level I mean, Wukong maxes you first anyway, but like, the reason you pick Wukong is because his ultimate is kind of silly in team fights. Alright, we have one more champ, Yorick. I don't know a damn thing about Yorick, not gonna lie. I just know his Quick, sustain is good. Too. Oh god, oh, no! I don't think that's gonna change anything. <laughs> I will I mean, try Evan Sue exactly one time in a breakdown, and then I may, may ban him forever. <laughs> Wait, they're making his E cooldown lower at Matt? What the? Oh, no. no, 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 no. Wait, what? Did I just buff him? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I read that wrong. I read that wrong. I read that wrong. It's better. Okay, okay. Prices are hurted. That's okay. the slow, right? No, no. Or, uh, that's his healing ghoul. They're making oh. his healing cool have a longer cooldown at max rank. Two seconds longer, so he's going to be slightly less stupid. But the sanguine changes, that's... I don't Still think that's going to do much. Still stupid, but yeah. slightly yeah. less stupid. He'll go... He'll go... Oom. But he can auto-attack it up. Well, they're not patching his mana cost at all. It's just... They're making... They're slightly well, decreasing the range. Well, they more. No, he'll actually go even less yeah, because yeah. the oh, cooldowns are Oh, yeah, because the later yeah. cooldowns... Yeah, Alright, yeah. I have a more particular question about this, then. It makes him be in danger more, I guess. Well, the Coco, I'm gonna beat you up. I'm trying well, to intro a question. The... Just judging by the nature of this change, what is a particular instance, if any, 
which we will see this have a direct effect. Or is this just going to be an overall thing that's going to be kind of like... Where is this change going to be apparent, if anywhere? Maybe it might have an effect on like the borderline cases, where like the 50-50 matchups where York could possibly win or could possibly lose. These will probably make him slightly more uh, lose, like... York versus Nocturne, or York versus Trundle. Those those matchups can go. So one v ones, like Jack here yeah, is saying, it's, with it's, another it's tank. It's lane. It's it's basically lane matchups because like York is you know um, there are a couple of matchups with York where it's basically either he wins them or he loses them, and it's a roughly fifty fifty chance what who wins or loses, and then the person who wins the matchup just snowballs the matchup, and these just make him slightly more. Um, these make it slightly more realistic that he's going to lose the matchup. It's not going to change much, but it could potentially swing, like, edge case matchups uh, away from him. Ooh, that's a good question. What about, uh, in particular, the York versus Urgot matchup? That's one we actually tend to see a lot. I... I feel like York has an advantage in that matchup. Well, okay. With Sanguine... With the Sanguine changes... I think it might help him a little bit more. The, the, pro- uh, the problem, I don't know. Like, I, I honestly, you would have to ask like Sauron or just someone who that's does. It's a bomb. really hard matchup to like yeah, figure because, out unless you're an Urgot player. I'm like, an Urgot player, Urgot, but, but I play him top well, lane. I don't yeah, play same. him bottom lane. Bottom lane's boring as fuck. Because like, it's like okay, I'm just waiting yeah, to I, get. You. Okay, this this change actually could make a significant difference in the matchup because losing 50 range off this healing duel, that could actually just do something in a matchup against a range champion, but again, I would have to ask someone who actually knows about the matchup. I don't think anyone here knows anything about the matchup, so... All right. I've d- done it. I've s- well, I've watched a Vansu play it before and beat it when he gets a gank. It takes more for the... Urgot to do anything versus Yorick, just like, hey, I'm Urgot. Yeah, Yorick, wow. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I, I figure as much, because, like, Yorick can just build a shit ton of sustain and get some armor pen, and I don't want to, like, he just... He's just stupid. He's... I'm more interested in the Yorick rework, yeah. honestly. Dude, yeah, I've, until I've rework wanted to play it. Yeah. I've only played play Yorick, I think, twice in existence and I re- had been hyped about him since concept like I'm like oh my god he has a shovel that makes it even, even cooler because I'm like okay grave digger <laughs> like I'm so sad he doesn't have like a combination attack where he lurches forward with a shovel stabbing someone like, well, I believe that's one of the iterations that was being considered on the, well uh, not even lurches for it like you know how Malkai like reaches back with his arm for his Q and then, like punch. Like I'm sad he didn't get something like that, but there's no after images of of a ghoul. Like that made me so sad. We have a uh, just a few more things. It looks like we're almost at the end of the patch notes. Um, general changes. Uh, I'm just gonna read through a couple of these. Uh, they fixed the minimap bug, where champions were just not in the right place. I have no idea what caused that, but I'm glad that's fixed because there was that occasional. Holy! Where did Wukong? Oh, he's over. What? Little things like that aren't going to happen. Cancelled auto attacks will no longer fire a damageless missile at the target. This makes me happy, and I hope they get rid of the sound effect because that's really irritating. Because I rely very that's heavily like on audio cues city. for that. There's. I I never actually noticed that. The thing I did notice, however, was like um, if you die, but your auto attack is still in the air. Like if you're a range champion, like the, the auto attack will still go, but it won't do anything. I'm like, that's stupid. Yeah, that's why I noticed. I want. And this will help AD carries a lot. I don't know, I mean, like, I don't see this, it's... Eh. Minions despawning a little sooner is cool, because that reduces some of the clutter. I don't know if that actually does anything to collision or not, but if anything, it would only help it, it seems. Cursors will be set to the center of the window by default. This is goddamn <laughs> irritating as a caster, yeah, I'm sure you've oh seen God, this I before. Well, I actually, like, at first it was irritating, then I was like, huh, I never knew these parts of the map existed, this is cool scenery. So now I appreciate it, and I'll be sad this is gone. 
maybe it was just put in by the people that actually make the map topography because they wanted to show off the little things. I think that's what well, happened. I wouldn't blame them because there's some cool things in the map. Uh, also, cursor centering from uh, alt tabs, great. Because if I tab out while I'm dead, because I'm dead and I'm being bad and reading stuff on the internet, great. Now I can tab back and not have my screen flip out. Cool. That's so nice for me, because I usually do that, because I'm usually waiting with people with a uh, pretty back in that. <laughs> Ooh, this next one is nice. Remove the default keybind for show slash hide summoner names. Thank God, uh, like, I remember when I first, like, hit the, like, when I was playing, like, I, I hit, like, combination of buttons, I was like, huh, where did everyone's Ooh. names go? This is really irritating. And I had to go and manually turn, like, just remove that hotkey, and now, now it's gone by default, so that's really nice. Okay, this, this is gonna save me endless arguments with Argyle, who's, uh, a guy in my gaming clan. You? Um, You've met him once or twice. Uh, Argyle, and along with my other friends in Vato Clan, they play a lot more SR than they play Dominion. And I would constantly get into arguments. Well, he'd get into arguments with me. He'd be like, Gander, why didn't you take that tower down? I'm like, what are you, what are you, what are you talking about? Like, why didn't you just dive that tower and kill him? Like, I'm like, because he, he was behind the tower? Like, the tower had 40 health. I'm like, no, it didn't. It was full health. He's like, dude, the tower had 40 health. I was just there. Click on it. And I'm like, oh. Oh, okay. Tower health is now updated. Even if you've never had the tower out of the fog of war. I love that. Yes. I'm so happy. Yeah, that is it's very really nice. Good. Yeah. So good. That was the old one it's thing also good for Twisted Tree Line and Howling Abyss. I love it. Because that has. Oh, wait, wait. wait. You, you, mean, you, mean this, you mean this chain stuff in Summoner's Rift as well? It wasn't there, in fact. I never played that map. Yeah, it's. Sometimes my friends make me play SR. So, what is and this is great. Rift? For it's, those uh, of us who play Dominion, what is this? I think it's a farm. Is it like Harvest Moon? So it's like Harvest Moon. Oh, it's a it's a it's a PVE game where um, sometimes difficult. another player wanders into your zone and oh, yeah. you have to chase them away so you can protect your farm. That yeah, sounds a lot like true. what like. It sounds boring. <laughs> I actually hear Popples like when he's playing Dominion. Like I hear him be like, "Mike, protect my farm for me." Because like High Peoples actually spends a lot of time near minion waves, even in Dominion. Yeah, that's. He they actually give gold. Can we, you know what, I'm going to start as a caster trying to spell that because there's, I, like that shenanigan earlier with Chaosis, which let's not get into that, but there's a lot of times in a, in a game where someone will sweep by an area knowing that they have downtime, um, you know, in, in the case that was being made earlier, uh, Draven by himself. Uh, let's say Draven's, like, the only person on the map, and he's waiting a few seconds for someone to appear. He's gonna walk out into a lane, he's gonna, he's gonna kill a few minions or something like that. He's gonna do it safely, he's gonna do it away from the enemy. He's gonna, you know, be cautious and everything like that. And he's going to take that extra farm. He's gonna take that extra gold. There's and lots of other characters do that, too. There's actually a strat, like, you do, know, like, you can take, like, a super, like, a super, uh, gold skilling character, like, Vlad or something, and you just stick him in, the, in like, in top lane. And you just have them basically permanently farm the lane, and the enemy enemy team has to send someone to hold, you know, the top. Yeah, the there's that. Is, so that you have like, so you be, so you basically have a three v three, and or you basically have your one v one top, your one v one bot, and your three v three in the jungle. And then late game, you have a you have two people with basically bot lane farm, and you can either switch bot, or you have someone that is hyper farmed and ready to just murder people in fights. So farming is still a thing. It's a situational yeah. thing was a thing. Yeah, I just I see it all the time. Um, particularly the first thing the first time that I really noticed it uh, was on your brand and one and one time when I got into an argument with Alalia about Katarina and gold and she was like, How do you have that much money on cat at that stage in the game? <laughs> and I'm like, it's it's easy. I just bouncing blade like a minion wave like all the damn time I just walk out and I just yeah, throw one yeah usually if I'm walking by a minion wave and there's not you just pillar it on, I'll, I'll take the time to last hit those because it's 100 gold you know and that shit yeah. up. 
And then the lesser the lesser common play that you mentioned with you know, sticking a Vlad out there is that it forces positioning by the enemy, it draws them to that, and it also increases your pushing power if they do, if they respond to it poorly. If they ignore that and they go for the 4v3 team fight, they might still have that tower get neutral anyway. If you have revives up, you can make a play off of that. Well, you does some no, stuff. you shouldn't you shouldn't go for 4v3 team fight class even if you do neutral tower. Three members of your team are dead, and they can just take it back. So it's not something well, hold you on, want hold to on. do. You're not going. You're not going to push a three v four. The enemy team will want that three v four. Is what I'm saying. They're going to go for no, the three people. No, it's right? going to be a three v. No, it's a three v three because they have to have someone sitting on their tower to keep the wave from you trolling. Ooh, their tower. they won't split. They won't. Uh, they won't try to go back to it after they sweep the three. Because I figured that's what you would and, do. Is you'd sweep the three. Well, they'd go back and take top. No, well, that, that's assuming that the three people are bad and try to be aggressive when there's four people on a map. You don't do that. What you do is you have three people in the jungle playing defensively. So they're going to hang out by the their fourth. Farming the wave. And if the enemy team listens, they're going to try to force a fight. You just back the fuck off and you tell the guy gotcha. to back off until they. Yeah. So confirmed mid elo strat. You never, never fight three v four unless you can, unless you know you can win that. Okay, so if it happens, it should be a bad, a bad thing then. Well, that's the Jack. That's assuming that they already have top. You just have someone farm it and you play three v three in the jungle because you have a weak early game character who needs items. Okay. Assuming that you already have the point, you could also do it from the top point and just have the person farming the midway while your team pops yourself in the jungle and keeps them walking the jungle, blah, blah, blah. That was a little bit of a derail, but I think that strategic value was high enough that I'm going to justify it. Um, reduced amount of time you could spend AFK before and kick from the game? Great, because we have a lot less time in Dominion, so it's more important that that crap happens. And we also have a uh, Champions tab in the Summoner profile. has a new layout. I don't care. Does anyone else? Is this... Okay. Mm -hmm. My Champions tab? Where? Where do where you see this? It displays more champs at once in your profile. It's, it's on PBE. It's not that bad. Uh, it's actually better, in my opinion. Okay, and just kicking through the last couple things, because they don't have a lot to do with too much... Uh, the friends list, they fixed the bug that used to, that caused to have a bajillion yeah, entries of God, the same person, I which, so much. yes. I've actually seen a different issue to what I saw was, like, just my friends list have, like, massive holes in it, and, like... That's probably yeah, related to that. Yeah, I'd have to, like, scroll a lot in order to just fix it, and so hopefully this... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it fixed the bug that caused it to be corrupted with missing entries and scrolling, yeah, so this will fix that, and that was annoying. Yeah, I did not like that at all. I tried to actually get on, set up an in-house, or a breakdown, or, like, talk to someone about anything. It was just like, eh, well, icky. Oh, um, I like this change. Friend notes are now visible in uh, the friend tooltips without needing the hover open note. That's really nice. Mm-hmm. And the... The, uh... Custom games. Uh, very harsh. AFK detection. Uh, now... The uh, the kick and detection is significantly earlier, uh, and uh, you have to be in game for a little bit longer to get IP XP. Let's see, uh, minimum number of players, and so you get XP. Okay, so yeah, if you want any, the the we play a bunch of custom games. The it's negligible. It's so negligible how much IP you get. This, the only thing this does is to prevent Smurfs from leveling and getting stuff through custom games. Because you can't play anything other than co-op for the first three levels, and not everybody likes to play co-op. Wait, I thought you could play summoners. I thought you could play PvP summoners rifts. Basic. Oh, there's SR and co-op is all right. Yeah, co-op. Yeah, they made it so in new accounts you you can only play co-op for the first three summoner levels or something. And then you get no, I, I thought that wasn't the case. I, I thought you could still play normal as SR. Mm, no, you can't. They don't even let wow, you Wow, that's... Also. Oh, wow. That's not sad. Not sure I'd be wrong. It kind of yeah, makes sense, because um, new players, like, like a brand new player should not be in PvP regardless. Like, they should be and, learning how the game yeah, works And first. Dominion, and, and Howling Abyss, it's at level 5, Twisted Tree Line, and Dominion level 7. Man, can we just play all of our games at the start? All right, we are at the we're at the end of the patch notes. 
does anyone else have anything they want to say about anything that we covered? Sorry about having that crash earlier. Um, and this raid call experiment was interesting, to say the least. I promise to behave if there's a next time. Yeah, you gotta work on you gotta work on the talking over people, man. Because what'll happen is um you'll be talking, and then you'll take your, you'll you know your mic will go off. So we'll want to say something, but you're actually not done. It's just your mic detection or your hot key or whatever. Yeah. And then like if you're gonna pause, just do what I just did. Just leave the finger on the key for a second, and then yeah, and then so kick it bad. off because there was a lot of like friction with you and other people talking at the same time. So. I th but I think that's well, just that's something you can work on. Because, like, I get actually nervous, like, in a group more than three people. But like, I, I kind of That's forgot. understandable. This could have gone significantly worse. I'm, I'm glad it only went the way that it did. It's pretty cool. Um, I might try but, it out some... I might yeah. try it out once or twice more in the future. But um, I'm looking forward to Day of Dominion if you guys want to play. Like, seriously, just go throw, throw a post in the thread. If you don't know what your availability is yet, that's fine post that you don't know it yet, and then edit it in when you do know, just so I can keep the thread active and going, because it makes people happy that aren't me, and yeah, people like to be happy. Wait, Honest Snack is alive? Yeah, Honest Snack was on the other day. He's always alive. He's been working a lot. I haven't seen him in, like forever. The other person I haven't seen is, um, I haven't seen Necrogen again in a while. Necrogen? He's, he's still yeah. been on occasionally, though. He, he plays a lot, um, yeah. When he does hop one, he frequently heads over to ARAM. There right. is something interesting on the forums I just found. Apparently, now Man Wolf Axe Boss is taking over 90% of the Dominion work. I think no one's going to do Oh my Hassan. god! I thought yeah. he already did. Yeah, like, I thought I was, he did I too, assume, but. I just, I just assumed this was a thing. Already posted it, it in yes. no. It's been confirmed, sort of. Hell yeah! yeah. Well, no, is like, On he Saints hasn't Three forever. <laughs> um, are we still can? Are you still recording or no? Yeah, I I haven't done the outro yet. Okay, uh, I've got shit to say after the outro. Okay, well we'll get there in a minute. It's pretty good to you. Um, but yeah, that's cool for Axe Boss. I'm glad that um, you know, he's being more involved in stuff. He's a really nice guy. I got to meet him, and he seems to enjoy the game mode a lot, which is pretty cool. Uh, but that's all we have for today. Uh, so yeah, there'll be links in the uh, in the description. Uh, check out Day of Dominion. It's gonna be on September 26th. It's gonna be a 24-hour stream. If you want to play, cast, commentate, stream, whatever, I might need you for that. So if you're interested, uh, post, and then if I can use you, I can get you in. Jack, I have no idea how long this one was because the timer broke and my computer crashed. And I had to restart. Probably like two, two and a half. I don't freaking know. Uh, a little bit shorter than usual, but I like it that way. We're still pretty bad at getting off topic on rants about a character when we talk about Kha'Zix's Q, and then end up talking about the the Talon versus Kha'Zix, and, but yeah, hopefully we'll get better in time at it. Um, real quick, I just want to go down the list, and, no, Jack, no, we can't. <laughs> no. I'm just gonna go back to the chat real quick, and, um, <laughs> we'll do the, we'll do the outro... And then we can all get the hell out of here. So, uh, you guys, this, this arguing is loud. Uh, figure out who's going to go first, and uh, everybody say, plug your stuff, whatever, and then I'll close it out. Uh, go from order from the top to the bottom, like it's a pecking order. So, Jack, Squirrel, Gander, Half, uh, Basie, Mike, myself, Alalia, Generic, and Klaus, I guess. Okay. Jack, you have text. You can actually go whenever. We can actually talk over it. It's amazing, because you can just post it in the chat. There you go. He, he's the best at plugs. You should link them. Uh, Squirrel? You're a cool guy. Let's see if he's actually here. I think we lost generic somewhere in there. Unless you're still here, man. People do appear to have disappeared. Take that as a Canada. Uh, and then we know Mike wandered off also. Uh, Maloka dude? Hello, oh, yeah, class. Are... No, Half can go before me. He's got some media, I think. I have media, really? I wasn't aware of this fact. 
Yeah. Buddha, yeah, Buddha raised me to four, you remember? <laughs> oh, wait, he did what? Oh, no, it was Jack. My bad, it was Jack who made the Twitter for you. Oh, oh it's right! God, the terror. I... what? I... oh god, I need to check this at some point. Oh dear. Um, so apparently I have a Twitter I didn't know existed. I am <laughs> half-hearted and I am theoretically the captain of Team Clueless. And you know you got that uh, from you. <laughs> well, I mean, we have like nine people on the team, someone has... No, four people. You're like the no. elements. You've played on every team and you're always benched, and then you're finally like, in charge. And then no, that's not true. The I the still stuff. need to play for Safanda Cox. Oh, I can help you with that. I'm like the manager. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're. You guys have killed me with these like statistics with the team hopping. Uh, Maloka, dude, you do some things. <laughs> Where are you on the internet? Um. I actually do have a Twitter. I was actually going to start making YouTube videos again, but, um... You should! We need more media! I literally can't do this all myself, man. Well, that's purely based on, um, me. It's either go to Brazil money first, or a new machine, and it's starting to potentially look like new machine. Oh, man, Brazil's cool. Well, sort of. Yeah, but I don't fucking speak Portuguese, and the first time we life, oh, well, we won't get separated. They're clearly not aware of I have ADHDs and they have monkeys in the trees like fucking everywhere apparently. It sounds like a um, bad country song. You can just hear that twang guitar. Yeah. ADHDs and monkeys in the trees. Dun -dun. I'm not gonna make to the song. Watch, because I'm buying a new guitar too, and I do think I know where my um dead mother. There's from well, she's dead now, but long story. Um, her banjo is. So, like, that, that'll lead off the media, the intro of me playing banjo. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm Olka Dude from the Dominic Gaming, uh, well, Dominic Dominion now. Still, you know what I mean. Um, you can see me in your streams modding your chats. Um, also I've been doing the, uh, if you've been hearing Fiske's music taste slightly improve, um, there's this thing called Plug.dj where the background music now, for Fiske is either me or Gopher or like somebody else. So we're the reason his music taste doesn't suck anymore. <laughs> I like That's why he lost the poll. I like more oh, extreme oh. music than the stuff that Fiske listens to. I'm, I'm into can, like a lot of trance and metal oh, and rap. Also, yeah, I'm actually working on that. There will be um on the Reddit, the Dominate Dominion Reddit. Let me go get it real quick because I have an ad tab. Okay, you go fetch that. Uh, what is an Alia? But, yeah, I'm making... Sonic oh. Alia from Dominate Dominion, so cute. I actually have a Twitter, but I don't use it much. Um, the handle is at Alaria, so you can find me on there. I try to pull stuff, so but it. I do not have the potential to make media. My computer and internet kind of sucks. Oh, well, that's okay. I, I, I'm I really happy, though, that, you know, people that are in the situation like you are, you know, they don't have a lot of uh, ability to produce media or do things, still stay involved in the community, you know, playing in houses, get on a call with us. That's still real cool that you're helping out, and I just wish everyone would do a little bit of that, and then we could we could take over um, Han or something. We might already be beating Han. We'll work on it. All right, Malo, could you find that link? Uh, yeah. Um, by the time the VOD's up, I'll have made a thread, um, I'm actually going to you, because I know I need, example, I don't have the classic rock playlist, I just have a bunch of oldies, um, if you have requests, playlists, like, songs, please, like, I'm gonna be, um, needing stuff for some day, I, there will be more Eyes and Funk, I'm already working on that list, but that's more of a more me playlist. There is a thing that we can try sometime. I don't want to get too off topic on it, but there's a thing oh. I want to try sometime where there's a thing where you can post a YouTube link and it will build a playlist for you in the Twitch. Like you can post it in the Twitch chat, and the bot will put it in a rotation of things that get played. Um, a streamer oh, Shadow yeah, Jackie uses it, and it's really cool. Uh, and well, that's why um, we're using Pod.dj. 
so uh, if Fiski doesn't like it, someone can uh, skip it. Plus, if like the major, the only issue I have with plug is um, if like three people like the night we were hitting like coherent 400 viewers almost, like we have four people instead of, like saying man to stuff, and I was like auto skip. Like anytime a song was good, and then people were like, oh man, this song is good after all. But then you would always get the people like downvote botting it. It's really fucking annoying because they wouldn't say what they wanted either. Yeah, that's the um the the the, the other one is like you, the guy can like manually like switch to just hit a button, but it's you have to yeah. look at it. You have to actually human input thing. Uh, but half-hearted, we we got you, didn't we? Yep. That's right. Uh, half-hearted. Uh, he's at fake Twitter, and uh, we got one more person. We got the. They got the uh, Where Tall Grass captain in the in the chat. Yes, I'm Kless. Um, you can find me in the uh, Dominate Dominion chat room, uh, and um, I did make some very very rough beginner Dominion tutorials way back in March, April. Oh man, those may be a little out of date. Yeah, I know they're out of date. So if I want to keep it up to date, I'll have to redo it. Um, but if you want to look it up, there's somewhere. If you just look for my name in the thread. I have it somewhere. <laughs> so I have to dig it up again. Okay. No, no, um, we don't play anymore, Jack. Except for that one time we came out for the uh, curse tournament. They're on, uh, they're in the hyperbaric time chamber right now. They're just, they're hanging out and eventually there's going to be another another crisis that is going to cause Beware Tall Grass to wake up and come out to play. So come back to come back and... Wait, no, they be in, um, chrono sleep. Oh, I roll yeah. a time chamber at age two unless you train. Uh, well, we'll come out for when we have to promote Dominion some more. Moloko, why some you gotta time. why you gotta dent my point like that, man? Come on. What? Anyway, uh, that's all I have for you today. I'm Gander of the Gaming Clan, Vato Clan, uh, for Dominion Breakdown number seven, a very different type of Dominion Breakdown. Uh, we're still playing with the format to find out what we like, what we don't like, and we're changing it up until we find out what works most consistently. And that's all I have for you right now. Uh, upcoming stuff in the future, like I said, on the day of Dominion, September 26th, uh, 2013, could be Dominion's second year birthday. It is a Thursday 24-hour stream going on. If you like me and my media, check us out on Twitter, at VatoClan, or other people really like it if uh, my subscriber number goes up on YouTube. So, YouTube.com slash VatoClan. Click that subscribe button because I care about the views. If you're watching it, great. But other people always ask me, what is my subscriber number? So help me get that up there so I can be cooler to other people on the internet. Last thing I want to say is, guys, let's be good to other people in solo queue. Instead of telling them, hey, don't dive that tower, or oh my gosh, you're an idiot, be like, yo man, I don't think diving 1v3 was a very good idea. Maybe you should wait for backup. Add solutions when you criticize other people's play, and maybe maybe we can bring the level of competition up just a little bit across the board. So thank you very much for watching today, and I will see you guys... Well, I'll pick a day, and I'll show up, and hopefully someone will be watching. Thank you very much.